chat isn't on. Chat isn't. Chat isn't on, guys. Can't see the chat. Can't see the chat. That's fun, isn't it? I have to pop out the uh this chat. Oh, it's back, it's back, it's back. My chat is back. Chat's back. Don't worry, my chat's back. Welcome. <clears throat> Welcome. Welcome to the stream, guys. What an eventful day. What an eventful day so far. We've had a great debate, as per, on Twitter about scripting, handicap, momentum, and DDA. Um... Um, it's always fascinating to me, like genuinely fascinating, that people believe it exists more, but more importantly, not that they believe it exists, but the reasons they believe it exists are what fascinate me the most. Because, yes, yeah, like Chris, but what, ev what evidence? There's no ev that is not evidence that scripting exists. I work in the hospital and listening to you really helps me get through the shift. Thanks, mate. Keep it up. Andrew, thanks for being here, brother. What what role do you do in the hospital? They would be massively sued if they actually came out and deny it. Why the risk? Like th this is what I'm saying, right? If if it was in the game online, right? Online, because we know it's in the game offline, because it's been in the game. Like you literally would be playing against the gaming kickoff and you'd be slapping it like 4-0 and it'd be like you're too good for this would you like to up the difficulty there you go right but it exists I know so, so, so prove it Danny prove it literally prove it because th this is what it always comes down to right if you believe it that's fine the reason why you believe it that's fine too but two like two things always come into my mind right first of all prove it Second of all, if you think a game is there to balance the scales in spite of your control, why on earth would you play it? Service technician for the hospital beds and bariatric equipment across Northern Ireland. Hey, GG's, man. Congratulations. What a good, good job to do. Momentum seems real. The problem, the problem with the scripting handicap and momentum debate is that perception is reality for everyone. And so long as you perceive something to be real or in the game or exist, that'll be your reality. And it's the same as like, listen, we're not going to get into the flat earth debate, right? But there are a lot of people, in spite of overwhelming evidence to the contrary... Believe the earth is flat. It's true. A lot of people believe the earth is flat. EA posted. I did see. I did see. We're going to have a look. We are going to have a look. Maybe let me let me uh let me TikTok this one as well. We have got this week in Ultimate Team Showdown SBC, Squad Foundation SBC, and Objectives. So, what do we reckon the showdown's going to be for? Why wouldn't they have started it with? Uh, <clears throat> why wouldn't they have started it with Man United versus Man City? So, we are getting Showdown SBCs, which is great. I wonder if because they haven't noted here again, um, Evos. I wonder if we get Showdown Evos. How cool would that be? Like you do the Showdown SBC, and then you can Evo one of them up. A couple more. How cool would that be? We're getting Centurions and Centurions Icon SBC players. Lovely. Just hopefully they're not overpriced and they're like good cool cards. 
We're getting new moments. Ooh, new moments. Interesting. The moments side of the game is a bit dead. You know, something they could do well to, to upgrade. Dynamic duo SBC players. Eric, Eric Divizzi and La Liga Esports Player of the Month SBCs. How much do we think that Jude Bellingham is going to cost? And then we're also getting upgrade SBC and live ultimate team friendly. Most of which of this I think we'll see tonight because Monday's the upgrade day. Don't know when the Player of the Month will come out. <clears throat> but... That's a good a lot of content, isn't it? That is a good amount of content. If we can mix in, throw in some Evos in there as well. Fantastic, EA. Fantastic. Send that to a uh, Viper, 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 Grow. Yeah. I have to say, the QA and discussion parts of the stream is always my favorites. As I say, man, like for me personally. Are you, listen, you are talking to somebody that in FIFA 12 made a video about how scripting was in the game. Alex, welcome to the team, brother. Um, it, it boggles the mind. It genuinely does. It boggles the mind that people believe scripting exists. Did they announce it? No, they didn't announce Evos with this last week. I, I think they don't want to, like, influence the market to that degree. Mudrik versus Kulusevski has been leaked. Oh, is it? Be glad when it's next season. Have no fodder. That's it. You don't need to watch your stream. Just listen to the podcast discussion points. What game could they do to show? Yeah, I guess it's Spurs v Chelsea. Sheriff Mudrick Lee, because as you why you're hesitant with Evos. Right, so if you've done it, but, but here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. If you've done uh, Mohailo Mudrick, is he on the first page here? No. If you've done his Evo, First of all, you've had his Evo for a long time already, right? What are you going to do? Not do his Evo just in case he gets another card somewhere else, right? Are you going to say to yourself, right, I'm never, ever going to do this Mihailo Mudrik Evo card because what if he gets a card? But then again, what if he doesn't? What if he doesn't? Now you've got this, like, 81 Mudrik, right? The other thing is, is that because of the the way Evos give playstyles and weak foot and skill move upgrades. Mudrik on 4-star, 4-star, I believe he's 3... Oh, he's still 4-star, four 4-star four anyway. He, he gets relentless, which is good. Um, especially considering his stamina so bad. But also, you've A, already had him for a long period of time. And B, he is almost definitely going to be eligible for another Evo relatively soon. Because he's only 81 rated. He doesn't have the best stats. The only stat that is kind of a hindrance is his pace. But as long as they, you know, if they give an Evo that massively boosts, for example, shooting and passing, and there's no pace requirement on that, he's going to be eligible. So it's like, it's not the end of the world. Once again, though, if you did Mudrik because you're a Chelsea fan, it's a given that your players are going to get cards throughout the year because Chelsea are a big team. EA will give lots of cards to Chelsea, right? If, however, you did Mudrik because you thought he was meta, then you deserve all the pain that's coming your way. Stop doing meta players. Stop doing meta players, you know? This week in Ultimate Team... Mudrik and the 95 pace he has his electric fun to use. Oh, I bet. Mihailo. Sheriff just posted. Kulusevsky versus Mudrik coming as an SBC showdown soon. Cool. Do you think EA are more likely to give someone a promo card when they see the hype of everyone doing a select card like Lirente? I don't know. 
I, I, I don't know. I couldn't even begin to try to be inside EA's head with stuff like that. I'll tell you what's mad, guys. The um, I played two games of Rivals earlier in Division 2. Because I'm in Division 2 now. I played two games of Rivals last night and I won them both to get into Division 2. Um, I played two games earlier. Just waiting for the kids to get back at the score. I won one and I lost one. I played a draft earlier. And in the draft... I had Hullet, Eusebio, Rooney, Centurions, Pedri, or Gavi, whichever one's got it, Roberto Carlos, another icon that was mad, I can't remember. And like, basically, just an insane team, right? It was so easy. It was just so easy. And when I finished playing it and finished getting through the game, I'm thinking to myself, this is why people go for these big players. Because when you're up against terrible players, and I don't mean terrible players in control of the game, I mean like, you know, that that Hullet versus basically any defender, he's just ridiculous. And it makes the game easy, especially if you're half decent at the game. And I thought, damn man, like the the sad the sad reality is is that by the time I can get these Arsenal players up to being that good, that's not going to be good. And there's going to be better out. And that's sad. I've 87 Liriente and 87 Neto already, and people messaging me telling me to touch grass, lol. Oh. I did West Ham Evo where possible. So glad Cornet is one of the best for the new left-wing Evo. Yeah, for me, I mean, I'm, I'm quite quite, quite far through. Um, Vulti now. I need seven more wins and ten more goals. Once I only need the goals, uh, like once we get to like eight wins... I'll go and just do two squad battles games to get her fully evolved. Uh, then we're going to start working on Geo Kiroz. Because once she gets fully upgraded, she's going to be insane. Honestly, I think she's just going to be better than Suke. With Finesha and Travella, she's just going to be insane. Uh, and then we need to start working on Laya Odina. And then we need to figure out what the what the deal is going to be with the Centurions upgrade. Because, obviously, first of all, I don't have any players to put in it. But... It might make sense to just go and buy one when they're discard price. Uh, Evo them up and then have an 86. I don't know. There's a sick card. Yeah, Wulti is, Wulti is phenomenal. She's phenomenal. Um, I'm going to play some uh, some rivals now as well. I've already Evo, Broha, Conor Gallagher, Colwell, Ian Martin, Fleming, and hudson Adoy for my past and present Chelsea team. And this is the most fun I'm having on FIFA ever. Yeah, I, oh, I believe that. I, like, I played a game earlier. I lost 4-2 four, four, to the guy. Um, it was being mad toxic as well last 20 minutes, just like holding it at the goalkeeper, literally just like, you know, trying to see out the win. He had like a 99 pace team with Mbappe up front. Uh, he had a couple of icons in there. Like he had like, you know, Van Dijk and Varane at centre back. Like he had a mad team, right? A mad team. And all I th kept thinking was, you're stuck in Division 2 with that team and you're probably hating it because when you come up against players like me, maybe you have some fun. But when you come up against a, against like a carbon copy of you with a 99 pace team that also just plays wing cross head or wing cut back spam, you probably lose games and you probably hate it. At least even when I lost, I, just, I did it with relative grace because I've got my team and I'm having fun with my team. And it's, I, I was sitting there thinking like if I'd have had like a meta team and lost this game, I'd probably be furious. This guy's got a pretty nice team. A few icons, but... I've been really trying to focus on some of like the build-up play and stuff, guys. He says as he runs headlong into Kyle Walker. And I've been really trying to focus on different style of defending. So one of the things I was doing on stream the other day against squad battles whilst playing co-op with Josh is just sprinting a lot to try and get back into good defensive shape. And Josh was like, look, chat, you see... This is what we're talking about. Because I'm using sprint, because somebody has asked how to get better, and I was like, just take your, take your finger off of the sprint button. And uh, 
it was like because I used sprint, I sprinted. I tried to get like to the defender, and instead of getting to the defender, oh, I should have taken a touch. I sprinted to him, and then when I tried to turn, because I was sprinting, I sprinted past him, and I thought, okay, let me let me try and use that as a strength when I'm like defending, and so now. When I sprint, I sprint to like a little bit to where the player is, then I stop. So just like this. So now I've like just got myself back into the defensive position. And guess what? It's had a positive impact on me getting the ball back. So I'm trying to make like these changes um, to improve my game. And it's had a massive, massive impact on how I've played the game. Just by not over committing defensively by sprinting. Oh, I bought Ashley Cole as well, by the way. As I'm sure you guys can see. I thought that was just normal. Well, maybe for some it is. For me, it's not. He's gone. He's gone. Division 2 with my Arsenal Evo team. Just like that. And guess what we're using to our advantage? Play styles. Chip shot with Nketia. Travella with uh, with Davos Uke. Just beautiful, isn't it? I do love the chip shot now. Like, cause I'm because I'm not like I don't have the reactions to ball roll all the time. But when I see him pulling his keeper right now, I'm like, yep, Eddie's got it. Weak foot as well, but it doesn't matter. Eddie's got it. Boom. Gets that height, but gets that dip at the same time, doesn't he? And then Davos, yeah. Use, use the bait run, and then boom. I mean, the poor shot. It's got to be saved, to be fair. But how much do I need for Petr Cech? Uh, about 180k, something like that. Maybe two, maybe 200k. Yeah, Odegaard's through balls are very good. Odegaard got the assist on that goal as well, actually, I think. Um, Yeah, I think, I think that's a... Uh, Vulti up to four out of ten now, man. I'm so, I'm I'm actually quite gutted that you can't put the evolution Centurion evolutions in here because I would love to put Vulti in here instead and get a plus two across the board for her instead of just getting the plus three defending that we're gonna get the ping pass and she's already got the high defensive work rate so that doesn't matter. It's only ping pass that she's gonna gain. Um, I'd rather sacrifice ping pass and three defending or one pace, one dribbling and then two across the board elsewhere else, uh, everywhere else. But unfortunately, it's not going to happen, is it? But I reckon Polo SBC is worth it. My honest truth, man, and, and, and this isn't something that we didn't know about anyway. This is something that we've always known. There are very, very, very few SBCs that are literally ever worth it. Hence the reason EA allow you to complete them as an SBC instead of getting them out of a pack. Um, I do think Laurent Blanc is probably one of the SBCs that I'd look at and think, okay, that's a ridiculous card. He's got Anticipate Plus, which is crazy good. He is crazy good. He's probably worth it. But then you've actually got so many quality defenders in the game this year, especially with like Van Dyke and Varane's body type, with Kunde's body type. Like, that even then, how much are you sacrificing for Blanc? Maybe it's not worth it. What I'd say about SBCs is if an SBC goes into your team and upgrades your team significantly, do the SBC. If, however, it's a general like for like replacement or a small upgrade, I wouldn't even bother waiting. Odegaard's worth it, but also not. Odegaard's worth it to me because I'm an Arsenal fan. And to any other Arsenal fan, Odegaard's worth it. I do actually see a lot of Declan Rice and Martin Odegaard in a lot of people's teams. Um, in terms of like a meta player, if you if you said to any any kind of meta rat or any just person that's just trying to build like the best meta team or whatever, would you rather Odegaard or Vinicius Jr.? Who do you think they're taking?
did Erdegaard as an Arsenal fan. I'm really struggling with him. Vinny. Yeah, absolutely they're taking Vinny because Vinny's just way faster, right? So in, in my personal opinion, absolutely they're taking Vinicius Jr. The thing that Erdegaard has that I, I honestly, honestly, honestly think that this play style is wildly underappreciated is this right here. His through passes, especially when you're playing down the wing, are crazy. They're just crazy. They bend, but they're straight. They're fast, but they're accurate. They're, they're just, it's such a crazy play style. And I never see anyone talking about it, how, like, how valuable it is. How does Odegaard compare to Messi? I think I like Odegaard more than Messi, which is why Messi doesn't even get featured on the bench anymore. Because I don't need to like sub Messi on anymore instead of like Smith Rowe or something. And a warm welcome on what is a fun Blue Mountain State. And what is this guy? Courtois, Rudiger, Blanc, Bamba. Ha, huh? you want the Bamba? Pace, 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 pace. Mon frere, what a lot of pace. Did you see Cole is in Team 2? Yeah, we, yeah, we already knew uh, actually Cole was coming in uh, in Team 2 in general. Bulti. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And space to cross it. Oh, Ashley Cole. And he's no I, I, like the thing that I'm missing the most is like I'm missing like a big, big forward. Put on Salaba. All around position there. And playing it back. Can he finish? Ah. In it goes. An early goal. I pulled, uh, the I pulled a defender out of position there. Havertz. And Kessia. And Havertz. Founders getting themselves into a good position. Rodrigo. Oh, slide tackle plus, baby. William Saliba. Rice with it. Oh, come on now. Press pass straight away there. Jakob, give me your. Well, he's certainly not alone. Stopped them in their tracks. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Uh, Adam, thanks for the two, pal. Would I do have a SBC if it was an upgrade? Yeah, I mean, any Arsenal player that gets uh, an SBC, I'll complete. Um, hopefully Cole comes as a... As a uh, SBC as well. Any Arsenal player that gets an SBC, I'll complete. Um, and then... Nothing. Just keep their Evo as well. And then if their Evo has the ability to be upgraded past the SBC, great. And if it doesn't, then no dramas, right? And we've got the SBC version instead. Jakob, give me your. Well, a swift challenge and a throw in coming up. A chance to whip it in. It'd be a goal, isn't it? Well, what a save, Ramsdale. Let's get that keeper movement in there. Well, that would certainly have put them in a great position. But with only a one goal lead, they're never going to be able to relax. Oh dear. Well, they couldn't keep it. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. Volti. May there's 71 depth, man. Really clever. Just not in that there, have I? What a tackle from Volti. What a miss. I agree with you though, Net playing your favourite players rather than typical meta sweat players makes the game far more enjoyable. See, like what and, and where that comes from, right, is like in a, in a game like this, in a situation like this, 
This is a frustrating game to play because this guy's got the 71 depth. He's got a 99 pace team with all the chem styles boosting them. And he's got all meta sweaty players, right? So this is not an enjoyable game. If I had a meta sweaty team as well, this still wouldn't be an enjoyable game. So I might as well use a team that I'm going to enjoy. Well, opportunity to extend their and try my best to like well, what a chance that is. He should have scored create. Declan Rice. Noel Maritz. And then, you know, if we can uh, sneak a goal. What can they do from here? Great. And if we Rice. can't. That was my chance to be fair as well. If we can't, then we can't, right? Walker. And here's Cunha. The founders have the ball again. Davos Shuka. Crossed into the penalty area. Man, I thought Nketi would actually like to connect to that. Ulti. Martin Erdegaard. And Shuka. Well, it's an attractive passing move, but it's all about finding an equalizer here. Rice and a very good chance. That's where Rice just lacks that attacking attacking prowess. And he's made headway. And just We're like getting there. We're getting there. We're creating chances now. Really top quality defending. Okay. Difficult to stop him. But timely defending when it mattered. Noel Maritz. Oh, I've tried to sprint out there and he just has not registered. Let's go, Eddie. Let's go. Oh, left his man behind here. Well, good run and good ball control. Tremendously Man, kickoff seems so so broken this year, don't they? Lea Velti. Martin Erdegaard. This looks promising from the founders. Oh, walk is just too fast for Davos you care. Now options are plenty. Nice goal. William Definitely having more success down this left-hand side. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. And then do you think Evo's cost too much for players who small smaller clubs? The reason why I say no. <laughs> Is because if I asked you last year, would you pay 150,000 coins to upgrade one player of your choice? You would have just said yes. Now that we actually have it as an option, people are looking to like, I don't know, have an issue with said option. Oh, I didn't And so that's why I'd probably just err on the side of... No, I, I think it's fine. I think we'll fast dis discover like an upper limit. Or isn't it? We'll take way more advantage of situation situations like that. Sandro Tonali. Great ball over the top. And it's opening up. Well, a vital interception to snuff out the danger. <laughs> On to Cole. And Kessia. At times they make passing look easy. I think I spoke to almost, almost wasn't the best of passes finally. That's a foul ref. I really, really thought that was a foul. 
Onto Cole. And that's the difference, man. If that's uh, if that's our mate Erdegaard making that pass there, we're collecting with that 100%. Mateus Cunha. Rodrigo. Yeah. Damn it. <clears throat> Rushing into the defenders too much. Foul game. That's a foul game. Thank you very much. Jesus. Oh, how did I not score before? Guys, how did I not score before? I've squared it and he's there and he's just ignored the ball. Bad pass. I should have kept it on the floor, that one. Bar. All the way, baby. All the way. Man, Havertz. I, I need Havertz to get into that box better. Oh, I really expected him to like pull someone or something there. Well, for more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. We're going to have to wait and see the extent of this injury because his foot was trodden on in that last challenge. So we'll have to wait and see. That's just a oh, what a save. Cheers, Jeff. Oh, I thought I was going to go in. I had, I had like space there as well. Quarter of an hour remaining here. And they have possession again. Volti. It is to be a throw in. Now with Cole. That's nice. Fights you care. That's Davos that's you care in a nutshell. He's just too slow for situations like that. Ten minutes left for play. Oh, ref. The ball back. Will I sell Cole if McCabe gets an inform? Uh, yeah, yeah. McCabe will become my 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 left back if uh, if if Cole if she gets an inform, which I hope she will. Mill Smith row on. Get uh Hertig on. Let's get Giroz on. Bring on a bit of Wubamoy. Why not? And Thomas. We'll bring in Thomas Parte. Who's the best left back? What on the game? Pro probably uh Trailblazers Robertson, I would uh, I would say. Oh my days. Geo up with the header. What can they do from this corner? The minutes ticking away in this game. Havertz. It's a perfect challenge. Uh, Karchawi's good, yeah. Yeah, that inform Karchawi's uh, real solid. 
Yo, EA, please, man. I've done a a thing there. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Pressure applied. The move looks promising. A goal here. Surely would finish it. And still looking to get well in. Shot away. Well in. This is it, last attack, guys, last attack. Belti. Noel Maritz. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board, distributing it well. And he read it superbly. Give it to me, eh? Give it to me. Gotta take a free kick. Wait, maybe not. I'll take a goal. Oh, I'll take a goal. I'll take a goal. Lena Hurtig with the bang. GG indeed. Now, remember what we were saying in the first half, right? When this guy went 1 0 up, and I was like, whether I had a meta team or not, this game just wouldn't be fun. This is where the flip side is, right? If I'd have managed to squeeze through that game with a meta team, I'd be like, man, this game's so shit. This game's shit. This game's shit. The fact that we've done it with the Arsenal team, oh, it's just so rewarding. It's just so rewarding. This guy scores here. I did pull the defender out, to be fair. That was my bad. But he gets the goal with uh, Hodoigo. We equalise with Erdi, Erdi. Look at this. I've got Blanc on strings, mate. Blanc, oh, Blanc on strings. The three-star weak foot shot as well. But, oh, it's, it's nice. The cut inside. It's like prime Eddie and Ketia. Oh, wait. It is prime Eddie and Ketia. Let's go. Um, lovely finish there. This guy goes... 2-1 up with Jamal Musiala. Lovely little... He does this little bomb bomb. Yeah, that's that's nice, man. It gets inside the defender very well there. And again, it's because I'm selecting my defender. I'm actually controlling Saliba. If I'm just letting the AI control Saliba, he doesn't get that skill move off. And I probably don't concede that goal. Uh, we then equalise with Kai Havertz. I mean, moments before this, we had a tap-in. And for some reason, it didn't uh, didn't work. And then 90th minute, Lena Hurtig. He's trying to foul me. He's panicking. We get the ball in, and that's a drill, that is. That is a phenomenal strike at that near post. Lovely stuff. Lovely jubbly. And we're on a streak, boys. If we win the next game, we hit that first checkpoint. Man, if I can get up to Division 1 with this Arsenal team, mm, that'll be that'll be something. Do I have the same connection to the Arsenal women as I do to men? I'm, I'm getting there, mate. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm, I'm following, like, I've followed a whole bunch of the Arsenal women uh, on Instagram and on Twitter, or at least the Arsenal ladies team, just to, like, follow, like, the results, the, like, the news, and, and try and, like, get on board in that regard. That was a nice victory, that, though. A nice wick boy. It's mad though, isn't it? Because this team isn't even like bad. Not compared to when we was using El Nenny, Wubamoy, Cedric, and Geo. That was a bad team. Suka has made a difference to this team. Erdegaard has made a huge difference to this team. Honestly, the midfield now is just a lot better. It's a lot faster. Like, Declan Rice on the shadow is fast. Walty is very fast now. And Ketcher is very fast. And it is that change in, in having some, like, pacey players has made the difference with this team all of a sudden being, like, usable. The fuming whistle should have gone. Should have gone for a foul, yeah. Playing ultimate team instead of career mode because of Evos. Yeah, that's nice, Spud, that is. 
found them desperate for the Newcastle women's team to do well and eventually get promoted to the WSL. I was in Ketia, honestly, like phenomenal. Not surprising either. 99 finishing, 90 shot power, 96 positioning, 97 acceleration and 90 sprint speed. Goes without saying, he's going to be good. Any Centurions packed? I don't think I've packed any Centurions, mate, no. 911 is good for a first ever champs. Oh, hell yeah. 911 is good just in general in champs. I'd like to see someone make a video on manual goalkeeper movement is actually a net positive, but it also makes a miss bunch they would have otherwise saved. I think the best time for the manual goalkeeper movement is in one on ones and just trying to cover the obvious angle or when players have got finesse shot on Travella because you kind of know where they're going to aim it so you can move it across. Otherwise, um, I don't think it's necessary to move the keeper too like too much. I think what one person I struggled against that was moving the keeper a lot was just moving it uh, to the middle of the goal instead and they were making like loads of saves. So right, this guy's called Man City. Oh, oh five at the back. Brilliant. Cool. Five at the back. Five at the back. Yeah, corners as well. Look a really good team at the moment. They pass it well. They've got great movement and they're hard to beat. I'm looking forward to this one, as are these fans. And now they get the ball rolling. This is the lineup for the home team. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Mohamed Salah plays with Maxwell Cornet out wide. And providing the main goal scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. That's why you need five of the back pal. Oh, so Suker. You've actually just got to score that. Volti. Wubamoy. Lia Velti. It's with Erdogan. Suker. Hmm. Eddie, come on, man. Oh, come on, man. Now the counters. I should be one that up by now. Well, Kai Havertz isn't only talented, he's also versatile, and that really comes in handy for the manager. What might we see from Mate, him today? As in real life, Talibur's just back pocketing Haaland. And of course, his finishing has been so clinical. That's why he's their leading Oopty. goal scorer. Oh, okay, that was obviously for Davos UK, eh? Take them on and beat them. And Ketia. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? That's a foul ref. I've literally green timed the shot there, like, and got the animation in. How's he not got a free kick there? The guy's just plowed through me as I'm about to take the shot. Oh, this is why this guy's got war prowess in it. Good tackle, give you all. Hey, red card, ref. Well, it was a promising avenue That's a of attack. yellow. Come on now. Has been halted, and you wouldn't be surprised to see they Not the same about Wubamoy. Wubamoy. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. I don't know how that's not a red card, to be fair. Long way out there. Bow me again, you won't. Bow me again, you won't. Yeah, Kai does that. Kai does that.
basically how constant that shot is. Mate, it's, it's manual as well, which is the craziest thing, isn't it? Power shots are manual. Look at that. Oh, he catches that. Oh, he catches that. Mine Yan, no chance. This guy's probably gone out to pause it to switch out of five at the back. Nope, still in five at the back. Cool. Pause it for a bit of composure, maybe. And here is Marassia. A creative look about this. Or Kraus, cutting it back. Yes, give you all. Superbly read and executed. Now with Cole. What a ball, Kivior. And Shuka. And slipped through beautifully. And the keeper making sure that there were no... Read that as well. ...to feed on for the attackers. Is he, he's got finesse as well, hasn't he? Good tackle. It'll be a throw. I'm actually quite surprised. Unless that guy moved the keeper. I'm quite surprised that didn't go through. Salah. Salah. Prowse. On to what a save, Rambo. Oh, One of my next upgrades. Um, yeah, I mean, McCabe over, McCabe over Cole, if she gets the inform, would be nice. Um, honestly, just, we're just working on the, uh, the Evos now as well. Nice head of God. <laughs> that can be so difficult to play against a confident passing team when you're trailing. Martin Erdegaard. Now is where I need. Not necessarily runners. Just the challenge that was required. Into the little skill move there, don't I? Am I getting a red? No, I was going to say. This guy only got a yellow for the same foul. We've got the lenient ref, fortunately. It's almost like the exact same uh, area of the field as well, just the other the other side. Walker. Good blocks, good blocks. Yeah, Cole, Cole's been decent. Cole has been decent. I thought his like, lack of uh, strength might cause some issues, but it hasn't. roadblock in the way of that cross clear to see who got the last touch so a throw in it'll be Holland Hold on. textbook defending inside the box oh -ho! William Saliba Ashley Cole now with Cole Martin Erdegaard And oh. in blocking it. Man, I actually can't wait for Geo. I just I don't think Davos is it. Ulti. From the founders to win back possession. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Electing to cross into the Oh, so close. I saw the uh, Eddie run across the front. And I was like, yeah, this is it. It wasn't. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Could That's all right. Yeah, quite half time. An illegal position. Well, he had the vision <coughs> to pick up the through ball, but he couldn't play quite quickly enough. So the whistle there. Do I have a shadow or an anchor on him? Uh, shadow, I think. I didn't get the Chelsea legend, uh, Ashley Cole. Plus, I got the Arsenal icon, Ashley Cole. I don't think they've got the Chelsea legend available in the game. It's only the Arsenal icons that are there.
Yeah, definitely got the Arsenal icon. Yeah. Does your rival's division reset when you, you drop two divisions? Have I forgiven Cole? I, I, did, I didn't have anything to forgive Cole for. I'm not the type of football fan that starts hating a human being because they changed career path, unfortunately. Sure, get, you get sad and you can feel emotions, that's fine. But yeah, I, I, I'm afraid I'm I'm not the guy that hates someone or needs to forgive someone for uh, changing their career, really. And a strong tackle. Good idea, but he drifted into an offside position. Well, he just thought about the pass for a fraction too long, and that's why it's offside. Uh, plays with a positional sense that is second to none. Wulti. Here's the thing about Wulti, man. Press proven. Maritz. And Havertz. And I was pressing hard this half, guys. I actually feel like he's gone on like constant press. Well, done, Salabar. Well, conceding the throw in. Good challenge. If you was an Asnaf fan, you'd despise Cole. I mean, you, you've shown your your maturity in the chat by saying, if I was an Asnaf fan, <laughs> Asnaf, <laughs> I'm 11. <laughs> oh, is this not X? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I'm 12 years old. <laughs> like, like cool, bro. Well done. You have the emotional maturity of a preteen on uh, on social media. Good for you, buddy. Well, they know they need to stop him. And it didn't go as a plan in the end. Kai Havertz. Havertz. Can he play it in? Rice. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Go, oh, boys. Who is Gio? Gio Kiros. He's the Arsenal lady that we're going to Evo. Realizing that it he thought half-term was done. Maybe it was like an inset day for some people. <laughs> Asna. <laughs> oh, he's honest. Grow up. Well, this looks really productive. What can they do from this position? Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Hey, hey guys, did anyone see the Manchester shitty result yesterday? <laughs> and Kessia. Did you get it, guys? Because I'm 12. <laughs> and Kai Havertz. On to Shuker. Must score! Really good interception. Will he find the net? i press pass. i press pass. Oh, yes. No, yeah, what you're doing. That's a very fine piece of tackling. Go on, pump it down the line. Pump it down the line. There you go. Holland. Cole. Oh, it's gone out of place because I've got the Chelsea version. But the Panthers, you said there wasn't a Chelsea version. Whoppa! Oh, Kai, I should have popped it. Should have popped it. Cringe. Yeah, it is, man, isn't it? When I see people in the chat go, if I was an Asna fan, <laughs> I find it crazy cringe, to be fair. Holland. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Beautiful. Oh, Maritz, who knew? Who knew? 
Who knew? Oh. This is his chance. Ah, Kivio's got that. Kivio's got that. Oh, this guy's got two men in the box. This is going to be a dangerous one to defend. And the cross goes in. It comes to absolutely nothing. Punts! Have it! Maxwell Cornet. Not catching this Cornet. Double tap. He's got one back. He's got one back. Is he going to celebrate? All in the melting pot now. And what a finale we can right, we're on the, on the risk of conceding one again now, guys. What a game managed now. Good ball to switch the play. Whoppa! Well, you might say it's the ideal way to see out a game when you can pass like this. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Whoppa! Let's game manage that, bitch. <laughs> oh, we love to see it. I swear, Suke seems to hit Travellers better off of a sprint than he does off of a standstill. Cheers, pal. Oh, you're about to see press proven in action. You ready? Press proven. Press proven, baby. I'm press proven. You can't. You can't even get the ball. You can't even get it. Even if you wanted to, you can't. You can't. Walty's just there. Look, look. Sit down. Get, get off. Get off. Be press proven. Be press proven. Get just go away, mate. Go away. Press proven it. Press proven. Am I still in Division Three? No. Just one minute of stoppage time. Say the officials. GG's. That is the first, first checkpoint of Division 2 collected. What's up, fat lad? How you doing, man? I can't lie, guys. That is some quality, quality FIFA. Division 2, this team, that's my seven wins achieved as well. Just nice. Just is just nice, nice play. I'm actually going to record that and send that to Viper for tomorrow's video because I'm actually uh, impressed with how good that was. All three games there, all three wins were really clean and tidy. Cole Cole, he will crash. Well, he'll be out of packs, right? He'll crash if it's an SBC. He'll rise before he crashes if it's not an SBC. How much did I pay for him? What is he now? Three te oh, he's already down loads. I think I paid like 340 for him. Oh, he's already down at 300k. 296. I think I paid 340. Oh, I paid 293. He's up. He's up. <laughs> He's well up. <laughs> He's up, guys. I'm, 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 I'm making peas right now. My favorite player in the game, man. My favorite player in the game right now. Leah Volpi. Smith went way down when a Centurion's car came out. Oh, is that right? <laughs> so if I, I need to sell him for like 305 to get like, well, 307. To like not lose anything. The thing is, I'm enjoying him. It's not 6 p.m. here, guys. It's 6 p.m. in one hour. Uh, the clock's changed in the UK yesterday, so it's 6 p.m. in one hour. Um, the thing is, he's just he's good. He's good. Defensively brilliant. Stamina's great. Aggression's great. Passing's good. Dribbling's good. His play styles are brilliant. Whip pass, jockey plus, block. Slide tackle, Traveller and technical, just very good. Um, but, I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to selling him on again. The, the good news is I could put Ferlin Mendy and uh, Thibaut Courtois back in here as full, full chemistry. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll list him up for like 12 hours at like 
and 300 start price. What time that takes take us to? Five o'clock in the morning. Let me do it six hours. So one o'clock and uh, 11 o'clock at night. And then I'll relist them if it doesn't sell. Because every time I've listed an icon like this, they seem to uh, like just go. Because all the ones that expire or whatever, if he becomes the cheapest available, he can uh, he can go. So we can bring uh, we can bring Cashley, no, Ferl and Mendy back in. Man, I've got some good left back options, huh? Chow Enrique is a good option. It's a shame he's got no links because I actually had a lot of fun using him. He's got whip pass as well. Mate, he's almost like a carbon copy of Ashley Cole, isn't he? Doesn't quite have the play. He doesn't have any defensive play styles, which is a bit of a shame. He has got incisive pass, though. Sorry, long ball pass, sorry. Um, we've got Mace. But, I mean, she's got some good play styles, but again, just doesn't have any links for me. Four-star weak for on her as well. Uh, we've got Kai Wagner, but I haven't got any Germans. I've got, I've, got, I've got Kai Havertz in the team, actually. And with the icons, Kai Wagner could be a fun one. We've got Relentless as well, which is quite nice. We've got Gishmal. Or Roberto Carlos for four more games. That's who I was using before. Yeah, I mean, other than Furlan Mendy, I just don't have any any options, really. I mean, he gets two chemistry just like this. And then if we put Courtois back in goal, we, uh, we pipe up to three threes on them. I mean, the fact that that's a full chem team is mad. Recently, Pat Mendy might just be the most important player. He, he is good. He is good. I do like Furlan Mendy. Physically brilliant. Fast. But then again, when you look at his passing, dribbling, and defending, it's just not the best, is it? He doesn't even have the best play styles. It's the four-star, five-star that makes him a bit of a different breed and the pace and physical combination. But I don't actually think he's, like, that great. Um... What other options have we got? I mean, I could get one chemistry or two chemistry, I think, on basically anyone. As long as we go for a manager that's from the same league and same nation. I mean, I could start Grimaldo, for example, and just put a Spanish Bundesliga manager in Sorry, a Spanish... Uh, yeah, Spanish Bundesliga manager in there. And then Grimaldo would go to two chemistry. Now, I like Grimaldo a lot. He's got in Anticipate, which is brilliant. And he's got Incisive Pass. Sorry, Whip Pass, which is brilliant. Who would Gio replace? Uh, Suker. I suppose on that note, we could put Mace in the team. She just doesn't like... She hasn't got the best defensive play styles. Four-star weak foot, I like a lot. Good pace, really good defending and physical. Decent passing and dribbling. Balance is a little heavy. She has got some good play styles, though. She's got incisive pass, ping pass, and whip pass, which are brilliant passing play styles. We've got Matthew Reese too slow. Chow Enrique. I don't like his play styles. He has, he has got long ball and whipped, which is nice, and dead ball as well, but... Uh, Gijsmao, too, too slow. Serginio Dest just doesn't have the... He's, he's just not here, is he? Kai Wagner, I really don't mind Kai Wagner. He's got better play styles. Doesn't have whip pass, but we don't really use it. We haven't got anyone to whip it to. Kai Wagner on a shadow would be very good. But that is literally it that we've got as the options at the moment. Play Maritz on the left and get Scott. The problem is that I don't like playing the wrong foot on, on the other side. She's got four-star weak foot, but she's right-footed. I just won't like playing with the right-footed player on the left. We could try someone like Chow Enrique. We could then e easily go for as well. I'm, I'm really interested in Mace, but she's just not quite fast enough. Aaron Reek's got some good stats. We've got an anchor on him already. I'd also need to get a Brazilian manager from somewhere. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Time doesn't change in the UAE at all. Oh, is that right, Lazy? Um, and then we just need a, a goalkeeper that's better suited to Chow Enrique. Hey, maybe Giz Schmal would be good for... I don't have a... You know what? Kai Wagner might actually be... Oh, actually, do you know what? We could probably get Grimaldo on full chemistry. 
Now, if we go for a Spanish Bundesliga manager, they both get full chem. That's not a bad option, to be fair. Espanol. I saw one Spanish manager there, but he's already a Liga, Liga Española. Uh, let's take Francisco. Crap is horrible, though. All goalkeepers are horrible. Where's the Bundesliga? Oh, I want a Bundesliga manager. Oh, there it is. Why is it all the way down here, man? What the hell? Oh, it's Mace right footed, is she? Oh, I need one more Bundesliga link, don't I, for the full Bundesliga chemistry? Because the club link of the other ones. Of, uh, yeah. I still... I suppose, actually, then, I can actually go for any goalkeeper. I can go back for, like, Premier League goalkeeper or whatever. Go back for Ramsdale. And then we've got, yeah, Grimaldo on two dots. I kind of want to get a Shadow Chem style on him. But even, even for Grimaldo, his defending is just not very good. Untradeable. Oh, that's why I was so far down the line. Yeah, that makes sense. Mace actually right foot. Can she play left back as well? Sorry, right back as well. No, she can't. Wow. Yeah, she's right foot as well. Who else we got? Maybe I'll go for Chow Enrique. Who's Monaco's goalkeeper? That they have to ask means he's probably shit. Perhaps we're in. You could put Wagner in. And put a German manager in. Yeah, I, I actually, I actually think I might, I might go Wagner. I quite like the look of Wagner. Inkai, baby. We don't need a German manager. We just need an MLS manager because he's already got the uh, German link from uh, Havertz. We've got Kai and Kai, mate. Kai, Kai Wagner and Kai Havertz. And we just need a Mullis manager. Go, and that's Wagner on two. Everybody else on uh, on full chem. That's not bad. Did I sell Cole before he comes out? Well, I've listed him. Whether or not I sell him or not. I, like, I was enjoying using him, to be fair. Like, he, he, he's, he was good. But if it, you know, I don't know how much a... How much a 300k icon can crash? What did Smith... Somebody said Smith crashed when she was out in PAX. What did her price go from and go to? So 89 Smith went from... 730k down to 600k. But now she's back up to around 630. So she's only down about 100,000 coins. Um, Yeah, she did crash a lot, but she's recovered. It depends, like I say, for Cole, it depends. Because if Cole comes as an SBC, his regular card will crash massively. Like, it will not be recoverable. Um, but if Cole comes out in packs, he might crash the first few days like Smith has, but he'll slowly but surely, because he's out of packs, come back up in, in price. The funny thing is, as well, Smith was down at 630k. Rose up to almost 800k, crashed down to 600k, and is now back up at 6 630ish. Icons are just weird, aren't they, man? They, they they fluctuate quite a lot. Vidic is the SBC for Team Two. Okay, so it won't be Cole. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm in no particular rush to sell him. Search, search what? Powdy. Oh, he's that, that guy's trying to stream snipe me, I think, guys. We got we got a guy trying to stream snipe me. Now you 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 want to catch these hands? Surely not. That's alright, you can come in here. What was you crying about, matey? Okay, take 
、見てね。A tiny bit. Perfect. Right. Everyone in the stream says hello to you, Ryan. Bit louder. Hello. Bit louder. Hello. Also, <laughs> awesome, my, my kid. He's, he was a good boy this morning. Lauren said uh, she woke him up. At, he woke her up at half seven. He was already dressed. He'd already made his bed. And then she said to him, your iPad's on charge downstairs uh, if you want to go and get it. And instead, he went and started tidying his room. So he'd be a very good boy this morning. Very good boy. Division three, yeah. We're gonna we're, we're we're starting to get into football and rugby at the moment. So once he kind of learns and understands how football is to be played, I'll get him doing my squad battles games. You wanna do squad battles games for daddy? Yeah. Do you need a wee wee? Okay. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> yeah. But he did. Uh, he did then run away from Lauren at school into the into the car park. What a tackle that is from Bon Pastor. And the founders have it again here. Yeah. All right, thanks, mate. I knew you needed a wee wee. Oh, he didn't move his keeper across. You need a kid. They, 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 they have. Listen, man, they have their ups and downs. I'm not going to lie. It's not all, uh, not always roses, right? Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. And the defensive intervention there. Volti. Volti. The founders have the ball once more. Don't truck around. Thanks for the two member rat badge, mate. I've I, like, I loved uh, streaming on Mixer, obviously, as we've talked about a few times before. But rat badge made my days a genuine hell. Wow, I got lucky to get that back. Rat badge made my days like I, I hated my life when he would st stream snipe me all the time. For those of you that don't know, guys, right? There was this guy. I don't know if he was a pro player or just like a. A competitive player or what but i used to have a guy because I, I was good at the game I, I can't remember what game it was whatever one it was i was good at it and i used to have this guy that would uh stream snipe me in draft sometimes he'd, he'd match me in first round if he could modric get out of the place um but sometimes it would be he'd wait in the final sometimes he'd just wait in the final and as soon as he saw that i was drafting he would snipe me constantly. You right, matey? You can watch this, yes, mate. But that is the red team, because that is... No, Arsenal. Good try, though. Well done. And look at the top of the, the, top of the names. What names do you see? Scored. Yep, that's Daddy. Ma, that's right, and that's the person that Daddy's playing in the blue kit. And what's the score right now? Uh, you can see the guy with the blue kit on the on the field. Oh, you see him? Can you see the blue kit? 
Do you see the red kit? On the field. You see the blues? The, play the players in blue. So the players in blue is who's daddy's playing against. And the players in red are daddy's players. And what's the score? What is the score in the corner? What does it look like the score is? No, what's the, the look at the numbers in the corner? In the top corner? Look where, you know where you read the names? Right, there's some numbers there. What do they look like? Not the one that's moving, the ones that don't move. 2, 8, right? And then what other numbers are there that aren't moving? Not the ones that are moving, the ones that aren't. And very deftly cut out. Next to it. See next to Daddy's name that you read out. Oh, fuck. Yeah. The... No, no, no. The numbers, the numbers. Where? Next to Daddy's name. Not above it, next one, to it. One. Yes, so that's Those the score. Nine. That's it. So it's 1-1 it's one, one right now. Tie. Tie. It is tied, that's right. But Daddy needs to win, you see. Yeah, I need to score again, don't I? If I'm lucky, I could get three points. Yeah, that would be really good, wouldn't it? You don't think I could get six? Well, I will certainly try my best to get six. I don't know if I could. This guy's quite a good player, matey. I will try my best, though. It is like the football pitch where we go to, isn't it? Really fine play to keep possession. Yeah. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Well, it was a good-looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Because it's on, it's going on in the headphones. <laughs> goal? No, that's not daddy, buddy. That's not good goal. That's bad goal. <laughs> it was still a goal. You're right. <laughs> Uh, the headphones have turned themselves off. Press the on button. Uh, it's like underneath. This one here. Just hold it for a second and then it will come on. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. Can you hear it? Yeah. What's it doing? You hear it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, still football. It's just half time. Yeah. It's kind of like it just had one. Yeah, they just had one one thing watering it, didn't they? There's nothing's happening at the moment. Can you hear it now? Underway in the second half. Let's see if Rovers can build upon what was a positive first half showing. From one side of the pitch to the other. But it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. What's a seed? That. The triangles are the red team. Yeah, and the circles are the blue team. That's right. Well done. Bomb passed on. And here's Cunha. We'll stop using second man press. Options in the middle. Giving it a try. Blocked it 
brilliantly. Teammate available. And a corner for Rovers. They're hungry for more. They take it short. Looking for that whip cross, yeah. Thank God it went to Varane. Definitely. From there. Disappointing. Martin Erdegaard. Well, I think we really oh. need quite a few. I'm trying my best, mate. I'm trying my best. They describe Erling Haaland's first half performance. Stuart's interested to get your thoughts as always. Well, what a first yeah. half he had. I the red team. Of course, the defenders all sorts of problems with his All of them. All of the red ones. Fully deserved his two goals. And I expect I, more from him I'll... in the second half. <laughs> well, you only control one at a time. And then the computer controls the rest. But you can change which one you control all the time. So, you see the red triangle above the head of some of the players? That's the one that Daddy's controlling. The, the red triangle above this one, that's the one that Daddy's controlling. Then it changes. So, when Daddy passes the ball, it changes the red thing at the top. And then that's the person that Daddy's controlling. Does that make sense? Yeah, you can headbutt it and bite it with your belly. You sure can. Only the only the what can use his hands. That's right. Only the goalie can use his hands. The goalie can use his feet as well. Yeah. Declan Rice. Maritz. Can't use his hands. Really out of the goal. That's right. Who's that? The goalie. Yeah. Yeah. But right now he's not out. He'll be delighted to have won the ball. He's in the goal right now. He, so if yeah, he's in the box, he can that, use his hands. If he comes out of the box, that's when he can't yeah, use his hands. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, that's what you were saying. Comes out the little box. Good. Can't. The bit, the little box, he can still use it out of there. It's the big box that he's not allowed to use it out of there. Rice. To intercept. Oh, <laughs> You're doing streaming for Daddy, are you? Oh, superb skill. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Yeah. I got it, I got it. Thanks, matey. Uh oh. I'm taking it away. Yes, Daddy. Oh. Daddy got it, didn't he? I'm trying to score. I'm trying to score, buddy. Do you reckon I could do Daddy, it? Daddy, run always that way. That way is that I've got Is that where I've got to go, is it? Yeah. Okay. Here's Bernardo Silva. Cunha. That, the block. Oh. Yeah, that's where they've tried to get the ball in. <laughs> yeah. Erling Haaland. Well, oh. He missed it, didn't he? We've got yeah. 10 minutes. Oh, got two. We've only got one goal. He's got two. So we need to score another one real bad, don't we? Rice with it. And that was a Not a gameplay like that, we won't. Can he pull it away? Gifted, guys. Gifted. That's his second goal. No, that wasn't ours. We're in the red team, remember? Yeah. I reckon we could still get some goals. But why is the black team scoring in that old go? No, no, they're not. Oh, is that... Yeah, that's their goal. That's where we've got to try and score. Well, has got a penalty. Which side should I shoot? Which side should I shoot? That side. And it was a yellow card. Oh, he saved it. No, he did. He did. It got inside the goal. No, it didn't go inside the goal. The goalkeeper saved it with his hands. Go that way. When Art. Art. Go that way. 
do that by just the other bed thing that holding to do this house. Yeah. And the one where the one of black that of the arrows that one but another holding. Is that right? Yep. That's who Daddy's playing against, is it? Is that who Daddy's playing against, is it? I think, Ryan, the black team's going to win this one. Good ball over the top. Yeah, the only one. yeah, and the time's nearly up. You only have 88 more minutes. Well, that's the minute it's already in. we got to go till 90. How many minutes till 90? Have a look now. It's already on 90, isn't it? Ah. To the advanced position. Right. Nice. What? Good It is on 91. Well, well done. Well, you've got to give him credit for that piece of defending. And yes, that's the end of the game. That's right. Goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, Derek, they yeah, that's okay. individuals and as a team, and they didn't deserve anything. Oh, I'll the put them on when you go back. Much better display next time out. Why? Because then that because I want to. Are you going to watch your iPad again now? Thanks for talking to me. All right, mate, I'll let you know. No, I've, well, that is finished now. It's finished three to the other guy and one to Daddy. Is that good from Daddy or not so good from Daddy? Uh-oh. I need to practice more, do I? I didn't know. Yeah. Do I need to practice more? I just need to practice more, guys. How's that? It's actually a... Uh... No, it's, I'm actually all right, Nico. Like, I've, I feel like I did good there. This guy had a really, really good team. I, I've almost scored a couple of chances. I don't think I did too badly. I mean, I had way more possession, more shots. Like, genuinely don't think I did so badly at all. And this is the thing, man. Like, we're in Division 2 now with this team. I'm, I've got. I'm. I am going to take losses that are going to be frustrating. Bolti. Thanks, Bilal, pal. Did I get to Division 2 while playing Cop? No. No, I did it all, so all solo. I mean, I've literally won three games and lost one game in Division 2 by myself in in solo. Why does everyone... Why, why is that your first uh, question, anyway? Why not... GG's, man. Good job. Why is it... Did you get help? Does somebody have to help you? Well, hello to you and welcome to another exciting game. Eva Fred. Fred. By EA TV. My name's Guy Mowbray. Bortois, Van Dyke, Rudiger, SEN, Cole, the and Sufati, the Finesse Shop Division. Merchants. How do you see this one going then, Sue? <laughs> you think Carp is harder? No, Carp car is definitely easier. Both teams are focused from the off, though, and they start quickly. But I'd love to see some goals. Hopefully I've not just cursed it. Here's how the home side lines up. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Virgil van Dijk in central defence. And they go with a single striker. Well, in Salabar. Can I get Arteta? I can. Same team, lads. Same team. Out it goes for a throw. And this is how the founders team Ooh. looks today. Yeah, it looks like a 4-3-3. I honestly think Walty is brilliant. The relationships with both wingers and fullbacks are great. And the latter constantly providing overlaps to create 2v1 situations. Both have got good delivery, so it's just about getting on the end of things. Oh, how's Rudiger got that? Oh, how the how on earth has Rudiger got that? Unsurprising who we've picked out as our player to watch here. What are we expecting to see from him today, Sue? Well, he's just such an intelligent footballer. The little give and goes, the quick movement, nice the ability to control the game. I absolutely love watching him play. 
Wait, this guy is crazy in defense. But the keeper saw it coming and saves easily. Not so much given away as cleverly won. An attack of genuine promise now. Put into the middle. And that's there is no chance. I've even like brought it down and waited and everything. I've done it all right. I've done it all right, EA. I've done it all right and still not got the ball there. Jeremy Frimpong. That's a pretty poor error to be honest. Didn't have to do that. Kai Wagner. And they've got it back now. Modric. Fatty, this for the lead. And superb technique to get past it. cancel it, just didn't. Making good progress here. He read that well, stopping oh, any danger. Out. Goalkeeper asserts himself well there to get to the ball. Could get it over now. And Sufati. Well, he's lost the ball, and any chance has gone. Genuinely tried to do a roulette there. The crowd encouraging him to take it on. Well, that was seen all the way, and the save is made. Here it comes. Well, that's a really terrific claim under a fair bit of pressure. That's that press, man. That press is just killer, isn't it? And the founders come away with it. Oh, I had the far post open. I had the far post open for a cross there and I did not take it. They decide against playing it in. Ulti. The game's been played at a hell of a pace because of this guy's uh, like 71 press. Jeremy Frimpong. Suka. Suka. The chance to cross here. The ball is lost and the chance has gone too. Now a sense that something could happen from this. Suka. What a chance. Oh, Eddie. Penrith. Eddie, you've got to be scoring that. Not getting Mate, this RB here. dribbling is such a pain, isn't it? Picks out a teammate. Oh, Volti. good defending just when it was looking threatening. Wagner. Onto Rice. Havertz. Nope, that was ready. And able to come away with the ball. Suka. I've got to stop looking for the uh, Travella so hard. Joe Cole. Could be something happening for them now. Oh, and he's left his man behind. Maybe an opportunity to get their noses in front with this corner. 
Well, there's not been much to cheer about for a while, but they're certainly getting behind them here. They sense that a goal's coming. And they've got to be careful here. And on that Do I think Spurs will win the league? No. To an end. Division 2 stop playing rivals too sweaty I only play weekend league now fair enough is Eddie worth it I, li I like him yeah obviously like the three star three star is uh is a bit of a disappointment I'm be giving him a free kick man if, if people are going to use this like sprint dribble thing you know it's RB sprint they've got to not be like gifted free kicks when you like put pressure on them and like get physical you know it's got to be like one of the punishments I suppose isn't it but it will now be tidied up and cleared away because now he could just without care like it's, it's just going to be a pain in it well done Martin Odegaard And Ketia. And this could be under pressure, but the keeper's done well to defuse the situation. Switched on and ready to intercept there. Devil Suke. Guys getting bailed out by that Van Dyke over and over. Tackle results in a throw in. Thrown away, he'd be advised not to look at the bench for a while now. Son. And well read, just as it was looking promising. And Ketia. Space out wide here for Suke. This for the lead. Oh, top quality goalkeeping to deny what looked a likely goal. Under pressure now. Well, they've certainly been positive. How the hell has Courtois? My Courtois never made saves like that, man. Be in the lead now. Founders have the ball again. Oh, a great chance. Great defending, but more to Mate, do. this this guy's last ditch tackles have been crazy for him. Wolti. Song Hyung Min. Ansu Fati. On to Song. Great chance here. And then he scores off of that. That's tough, man. That's tough. I, I really, really should be in the lead in this one. And we're back underway at 1 0. Lovely ball. Now, what can they do with it? In the right position to turn out the pass. Now a sense that something could happen from this. Genuine chance. All right, back in at 1-1. That didn't take very long. Instance, and we're all square again. <coughs> so it's one all as the ball gets rolling again. Boy, it would not let me, like, connect to the ball there. Like, I had the ball, but it wouldn't actually let me, like, control it. Son. Pass was red and the ball has changed hands. Suka and Katia perfectly anticipated, really well won. Ah, now there could be a chance to counter. Son, give me his halibut back. Has the space to whip it in here. Well, the atmosphere in here, it's Not only has he managed to get that tackle off there, he's managed to keep the ball in play. Moving it forward with purpose, something on maybe. 
on. Having to stay patient here. Picked out nicely. Well done. The defense has done its job to stop any trouble brewing. Ansu Fati. Now Modric. And Porti. Lost it. The attack is over. Oh, lovely skill to beat her marker. There could be a chance to win the game here. I had Eddie through there as well. That will be a throw in there. This guy's super aggressive with his like defenders to the point where we could just roll him Havertz. And it's on now. like that let's go come on come on and Sue fatty we need to find a way to that late leveler and this could be it the tackles Good tackles, mate. Kivio is insane when it comes to just flat out defending. Obviously, just wanted that for Eddie, didn't I? Never mind. It's a pretty poor error, to be honest. Didn't have to do that. Switched on and ready to intercept that. Volti. Beaten her marker here. Wow, ref. We buy those. Oh, we buy those. Oh, that's goals. That's goals. Oh, that's goals. Oh, has he saved that? Oh, it's just gone wide. Well read to gain possession. Oh, we'll take a free kick there, ref. Thank you very much. GG's guys, and GG's. The final whistle. A positive result, at least as far as the away fans are concerned. GG's. Sue, your thoughts? Well, that was Two carbon copy goals from me. Two exactly the same goals. Your improvement in gameplay over the last week alone has been crazy. Have you done anything particular to improve? Two, two things. Two massive things. One of them's kind of two things in one. First thing I'd start doing is stop using second man press and stopped rushing my defenders out and instead using a midfielder to track back. But I thought that you could just win possession back by just tracking back with a midfielder and that's not even the reality either. So I've started like bringing midfielders back, putting them into passing lanes and then instead of just being lazy and hoping the game would do everything for me, switch to a different midfielder to cover, cover a different passing lane. Uh, right, so started uh, started like kind of defending like that. Then in terms of attacking, genuinely just slowing it down and just waiting for the play to develop has helped massively. Uh, so this guy scored the first goal here. Nice ball through, but Pence have got to pick that up really. Um, then we equalised with Odegaard two minutes later. Into Eddie, into Eddie. See, I shot across this time because he moved the keeper last time. That save's obviously not there. And then it, basically a carbon copy all through into Eddie. Oh, sorry, it was just straight into Odegaard this time and then driven across the keeper. Here you go. Four wins out of the last five games in, the, in Division 2. That's really nice. We get two more wins on the bounce and we'll be into the, the next checkpoint. Wonder how many uh, evolution wins that is now as well. Seven, nice. So I need like one more win in uh, rivals and champs with Volti. Then we'll play two squad battles games to get her the ten goals, and then she'll be fully evolved, which will be amazing because then we can start on uh, Kiros, which will be awesome. 
Am I using possession slow build up? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm using. Yeah, it'd be nice if, if we could get... What day is it today? Monday. If we can get to Elite Division by um, by Thursday, by the new season, I'll be really happy to get one set of Elite re Division rewards. Uh, it won't be easy, but I feel like I've got the game. I feel like I understand the game a lot more now. Vibes, you see the draft earlier? I was cooking, weren't I? I was smashing people with that draft. Don't forget the Elite Division TFO. Yeah, I don't know if I could get 20 wins in Rivals, but in Elite, but... <clears throat> R9 is Brazy, he's, he's different gravy. I, I think that uh, TikTok's probably not going to uh, be eligible in time now. EA Sports, it's in the game. Right, Mummy's back, buddy. We had a really good time together, Mummy. Didn't we, Ryan? Yeah. It's over now, yeah. I'm gonna go with mummy, have some dinner. Come well, on, mate, daddy's got a record now. No, I was streaming now, I've got to record a proper video, so I can't even have any. Okay. None at all, mate, none at all. Well, obviously, me talking. Otherwise, people wouldn't be able to hear me, would they? Go on, off your pop. Good boy. Well done. Say bye to everyone. Bye. They love you. Love you. Oh, good boy. Well done. He's, super, he's, he's genuinely like super compassionate but he's also like his brain goes at 100 miles per hour and so he'll do something that's wrong and he'll immediately feel bad and regret it but like I don't know like you know he's, he's got a real inquisitive mind and sometimes it's the naughty side so sometimes like his brother will be walking past him and you can see his mind ticking I wonder what will happen if I just stick my leg out and trip him up then he trips him up and he's like immediately like oh sorry like so sorry gives him love and like you know like makes him feel nice and stuff about tripping up but it's like he tripped him up on purpose because his mind was just like what's gonna happen you know and he, and he does that sort of stuff like a, a bit too much so he gets pulled up on that a fair bit but other than that he is like he does he lets the intrusive thoughts get the better of him um and uh but he's instantly <laughs> regrettable. So, um, yeah, he's uh, he's we we need to like just make sure he like doesn't do that sort of stuff. But interestingly, he only does it at home. He doesn't do it at school. Um, so uh, yeah, we'll have to uh, we we have to like keep an eye on that and keep keep check on that. But as you can see, with things like that, like he, he's just he is so kind and so caring, so compassionate. Let me pop this TikTok up real quick. Look at Evo's please out early. Hold on, let, let me let me just pop this TikTok up and then we'll then we'll do it. It sounds like a boy being a boy. Absolutely, but also you can't let it get out of hand, right? Right. Right. That um that Harlan TikTok that I put up, guys, ended up getting a community guideline strike. Can you believe that? Been been rightfully accepted on, as, as an appeal, but it got on a, a strike for a scam and a fraud. The full week of content 
in FC24. What stands to you? You. that my favorite player this year uh so far probably uh kai havertz Somebody said there's already new Evos out. I feel like the chat would go like crazy if there was new Evos out already. Yeah, there's not. You is a liar. Like I say, I feel like the chat would go crazy if there was new Evos out already. They take that down on other things. That's what I'm saying, Josh, man. And, and it was for a frauds and scams. Can you believe that? Like, how is it a fraud? I was just reporting some news. <laughs> like, <sighs> Any tactics video? Man, I don't even know why my tactics work. I took them from somebody else. Would be hard for me to do a tactic. Page said permanent Haaland. Yeah. I just read what it said. A pair of reports may, may, maybe, maybe. What's up, guys? Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is 6 p.m. It is Monday. And although EA have already given us a little info piece about the content that's coming today, or this week, should I say, we don't know what that content is or when it's coming. So uh, we're still going to see, hopefully, some new Evos as well. I doubt we're going to get Evos today. We've had a lot of Evolutions over the last week or so. Um, and although I would always be open for more and more and more, I do not think it is happening. So with that, we are going to start with the objectives. Of course, we've got a new season coming soon, so I don't expect too much in objectives. Um, Dia de Muertos. Oh, nice kit. Score three goals. Assist three goals with the kit on. And win two matches with the kit on. Or some, uh, some like, uh, cosmetic content. Not too bad, not too bad. Insert coin sponsor. Use u7buy.com and code NEP at checkout for 6% off your coin. So with that, let's look at the seasonal. This is what I expect absolutely nothing out of. Uh, yeah, of course, because the season ends in, like, three days or whatever and then milestones potentially we've got new milestones um that was on the the list of things so squad foundation eredivisie league s league f turkish league nwsl barclays league of portuguese are centurions crafting upgrade completionist complete the centurions crafting upgrade sbc 100 times centurion obviously and earn pack rewards. All rewards are untradeable. So 10 for a jumbo premium gold pack. 20 for a jumbo premium gold pack. 30 for a jumbo premium gold pack. 40 for a rare electrum. 50 the same. 60 the same. 70 for an 83 by 3. 80 the same. 90 for an 84 by 2. 100 for an 80 by 10. And the whole set for a 100k pack. Well, we're going to have to obviously see how hard that's going to be. Because you know what EA are like, man. Um, they can be a pain in the butt when it comes to things like that. Right, let's see. Have we got a new evolution? We have not, as expected, as expected. So let's have a look at the SBC and see if this is going to be one of those where you're like, oh, come on, EA, or where you're going to be like, oh, come on, EA, you know? 
There's a big difference. There's a big difference. Oh, we've got the showdown cards. Mahalo Mudrik. Um, really cool card design for him as well. Just a black background card that blends in with the thing there. Um, four star, four star, 85 rated. Left wing, left mid. Great pace. Generally mid otherwise. Not the best play styles. I mean, that's a, a reasonably poor card, to be fair. Um, obviously, he'll get a plus two, I assume. It's there for seven days as well. Is that even right? An 84 plus a team of the week and an 86. That is absurdly expensive. Like, outrageously expensive. And then Dejan Kulusevski. That's a much better overall card. Kulusevski, four star, four star, six foot one. Um, much better, well rounded stats for Kulusevski. He's also got finesse shot and relentless. Um, and only one segment. Wait, what? Just an 86 rated squad. That's a, that's a bit mad, isn't it? That's a bit mad. I feel like Kulusevski is the better card and he's cheaper. Well, fair, fair enough, fair enough. And I also feel like Kulusevski has got a better chance of getting upgraded as well. Um, any other players here? Blka. Uh, oh, wait, are those dynamic duos new or is that the ones that were there before? Yeah, they're the Italians that were there before. All right, upgrades. Team of the week player pick. Max 87 hero upgrade. Prime silvers, prime bronze. Centurions crafting. Here we go. So it's for a three rare gold players pack. And you need to submit 11 golds. No, do, you know, do you know why I like it? I have been crying out for a place to put just golds. And for this, you exchange 10 players, 11 players, beg your pardon, 11 golds. You get three rares back, which is first of all good. Was it 80 plus as well, did I see? No, just three three rares. Um, it's there for 27 days and you get all of those rewards back outside of it. Overall, this is a really good piece of content because this, this, this is the sort of thing, right, where I feel like it just should be in the game constantly. And the reason why I say that is because like I say, like, if, if you think, okay, it's 1,100 players to complete the whole thing, fair enough. But you get 300 back from just doing it. And then how many do you get back from the actual objectives, including, what was it, 25K packs, 50K packs, rare election packs, 100K pack, and 80 by 10, the 84 by 5. If this was just there constantly, every time you got a duplicate untradeable, you go, oh, let me just go and do another uh, Centurion's Crafting upgrade. The fact that you've got 27 day days to do this as well, Calm, right? Really calm. I really like this. I, I, as I say, I think this is the sort of thing that should just be there permanently that has ever-changing rewards. Um, but as it is, yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it. I'm a big fan of that. We have also got nothing in there and nothing in here. And so just the store outside of that. 100 is a lot. Of, yeah, but it's Centurions, right? That's the whole point. It's supposed to be expensive. It's supposed to be 100 should I say, because it is for the Centurions. Yeah, it's better than the gold upgrade. And you get loads of good packs back on, on, on the flip side. And like I said, like, don't think of it as something that you've got to rush and complete today. Think of it as something you just complete over time when you get duplicate uh, fodder, right? Um, Every time you get a duplicate common gold or rare gold or whatever, go, go and do it then. Yeah, I'm not doing any of this. That's all bad, right? Let's go and look at those showdowns. Let's go and look at those showdowns. I, was, I thought we were going to get an icon uh, icon upgrade today. Um, let's go and have a look at those showdowns. Yeah, I mean, this is thoroughly upvoted, and rightly so. Rightly so. Um, and it should just generally increase the value of common gold cards as well, which is quite nice. Right, so we've got Kulusevsky. Now, what I'm very interested in is, is 81 can already go to an 85 rated card compared to this 85 rated card it's got less pace less shooting less defending less agility and balance more ball control and dribbling a little bit more in passing and the same physical so the this one is definitely better the uh, the SBC is definitely better i think it's i think it's quite expensive i can't lie four star four star flare relentless and finesse shot decent play styles not the best but decent obviously finesse shot is very nice but the card itself, I think, is very good. I think you pop an engine on him. Good pace, good dribbling, 
good passing, good shooting, good physicals. And if he gets the upgrade, goes up to an 87. Um, oh, is the, uh, the, the gold card got three star? Four, yeah, see, four star, three star here. Yeah, four star, three star on Pacey Winger Kulusevsky versus four star, four star on SBC Kulusevsky. What about play styles? So this one has rapid quick step flare and finesse shot, whereas this one has relentless flare and finesse shot. So they've given him relentless, which is really nice. Um, and again, he'll get the, the plus two upgrade should he win. Plus one should he draw. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. I think, however... Let's see, what, what did everyone think about Kulusevsky? Kulusevsky downvoted. I, I, I think Mihailo Mudrik is a joke of a price, genuinely. 140k. Now, when we look at his 75, he goes up to an 81 rated. Got two more pace than the new card. But seven less shooting, three less passing, ten less defending, ten less physical, including seventeen stamina, um, and then the same dribbling. This one's four star, four star. This one's four star, four star. This has quick step flare and technical. This has quick step flare, technical, and relentless. Um, yeah, I, I, I think. I mean, listen, he's got poor composure, poor reactions, poor physicals, poor poor passing. Very good pace and, and good shooting. But th this card, even if he gets upgraded to an 87, this card is still going to be mid. But th this, this card honestly should be like a 30k SPC compared to Inform Sterling. Who obviously is an 85 rated City uh, winger as well on that left wing. But Sterling's got a bit less pace, more shooting, more passing, more dribbling, physical who cares and more... Uh, sorry, defending who cares and two more physical... Doesn't have the four star, four star, but is 65k on the market. Um, much better dribbling, good pace, good shooting. Physical is very similar, similar play styles as well. I actually think, based on the price of Sterling, Mahalo Mudrik would probably be an SBC around the 50 60k mark because then if he gets upgraded, great. But overall, I think that's a bad, a bad take. Now, somebody in the chat said milestones, ri rivals milestones have been upgraded. They have finally been changed by EA. Let's see what EA have given us. We'll start at the top and work our way down. Oh, they don't look like they've been changed to me. Nope, same for me. But ov overall, guys, both of those showdowns. I think are entirely passable. I don't think you will care. I don't think you'll miss out if you don't do either of them. Even if you're a supporter of the club, I would still dare say, I mean, you know, Kulusevsky's got a very similar, um, a very similar Evo card and Mihailo Mudrik's so expensive that I don't even think it's worth it anyway. This is the same for me. This has not been changed. Unless they put it somewhere else. Um, Kulu is unreal with the upgrades. Will be boss. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Kulusevsky, Kulusevsky is definitely the better of the two. I think Mihailo Mudrik is terrible value. Um, but uh, yeah, I just, I just think... Here, here's the difference now, right? Because we've had... Things like Relentless Winger and Pacey Winger Evos. When you look at players like these guys, you've got to consider what are they like compared to cards players of Evoed? Because that you're not going to take those guys out of your team, right? And even if Mudrik and or sorry Kulusevsky goes up to an eight, I, th I think Kulusevsky is an eighty-seven would be good. We'll have eighty-nine pace, eighty-nine dribbling, eighty-four shooting, eighty-six passing, and eighty-one physical with four-star, four-star. Th that will be a good card, like a very good card. And he has relentless finesse shot and uh, flair, which is great. I think Kulusevsky is an 87 is well worth it at 100k as well, right? What I think is, what I feel is, 
that they've got the SBC requirements the wrong way around. I think Kulusevski should have been the two squads at 140 and Mudrik the one squad at 100k, which still would have been too expensive and probably too expensive for both. But at least it would have been understandable because I think it's fair to say that it's expected that Spurs will probably win. So it's it's more likely that Kulusevski gets the upgrade. Not only is it less likely that Mudrik gets the upgrade, he's got a considerably worse overall card and he doesn't have the better chems the, the better playstyles either. Um, and so, yeah, I, I think EA must have the the requirements mixed up. I, I'd, I would 1 million percent avoid Mudrik at all costs, but I don't think Kulusevski is a bad idea. But that is going to be it for today, guys. Get grinding that Centurion's upgrade. And I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace. Maybe the content guy today knows ball. He definitely doesn't if he's thinking Mudrik's going to win. Doing share screens for the upgrades. Um, if you have, well, have you got all 100 already? we get the uh they wouldn't really do share screens for jumbo premium gold packs nor rare electrums 83 by threes and 84 by twos the eight, 80 by tens yeah i think you'd be better off getting vibes to build 100 opening them all and the rewards yeah see i i think i, I was i was gonna say i think if viper came onto this account built completed it 100 times and then I opened all 100 packs and the rewards and was like, I completed, cent you know, opening every Centurion's crafting up to a great reward. That would probably be a better video. So, uh, if you please, Nep Salty, he didn't join Arsenal. Proobs. Come on, brother. Even the die-hardest of Chelsea fans cannot think that an Arsenal fan is salty that Mudrik didn't join Arsenal. You want to use the dupes as you go? Not on the pay account. Not, not the content account. What are the road to glory plans? So, the road, the RTG will also be, I've got some gameplay vibes because I, I was doing really well in Division 2. I thought the games were really good so I saved them. Um, I'm, I'm probably just going to like dump everything into this uh, into this SPC that I've got and open the packs and just, yeah, that, that'll be it. So probably like Centurion's Completionist. And I did buy a new icon. I bought Ashley Cole, but I've got him on the transfer list again already to sell him. And then some Division 2 gameplay. Finally, you can sell your tradable gold cards. Yeah, you don't have to keep discarding them anymore. Yeah, cra crafting upgrade and an icon again because I bought and sold Ashley Cole, or at least I bought Ashley Cole. I haven't sold him yet, but I did play the games with Ashley Cole, so. And then all of my untradables, I'm basically just going to throw into uh, this Centurion's crafting upgrade. Low to high and untradable. As long as I don't put the Arsenal players in, doesn't matter what goes in on this. I probably won't be able to do too, too many on this. Maybe like 20, perhaps, at most. Whether well, sold Ashley Cole, he's going to get Centurions in Team 2. We pulled about 685 from the first 10. Seems good. Oh, that's nice. Way to get follower at least. Opened nine packs, 387. So, right, so it seems like everybody's saying that they're packing some good stuff out of this. Yeah, a Centurion's player after the 100 completions would have been way better than the 80 by 10. 
Pack Jezzinho from an 80 by 2. Pedro Neto, trade Winnie. That's too bad. Um, you done one, you got Trent. Yeah, Vibe. So if you could go and build 100 of these on the other account, I would appreciate it. And then we'll, we'll get a thumbnail for that as well. And we'll do that on the PAX channel tonight. Don't care about getting rid of rares. Don't care about getting rid of uh, commons. I just care about getting rid of Arsenal players. If I accidentally throw an Arsenal player in, I'll be, I'll be peeved. Doing it right now. Oh, lovely. Thanks. You could just use anything in there as well. I really don't care. That account is like post. Uh, her tick can go. I don't mind that. I've got her special card already. Uh, Nate, thanks for the fire, brother. Player SBCs are bad this year. Only a few where you can comfortably say, yep, that's worth it. So expensive. Even 84 rated squads require an 86. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. EA are doing a, a stinky job, man. Of the, of the player SBCs. We're going to do draft. Already done draft today. I won it. But finally starting to get some wins on my, under my belt. I think I've won eight drafts now this year. Which is nice. I want to get to a point on draft where I'm like at least winning every other draft. For me, Asu. For me, Asu. For me, Asu. He's upgraded a pack. Make a massive pause here. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build ten. Start the video and go from there. If, if, if they're bugged out, I wanna, I wanna open them before EA realizing like, oh guys, sorry about this. We didn't realize we had to remove it real quick. Arsenal woman sent it back. Was in that last pack. Wait, what pack? Wait, did I get rid of the Arsenal woman centre back? No, there's a lot of waffle in this chat. Oh, is there? Open ten, I got nothing. It's gone for me. Shut up. Did I actually have an Arsenal woman? What was her name? It wasn't the silver, so I don't think it matters. That was number eleven for Ballon d'Or. I'll, I'll do ten first, and I'll start the video off of ten. Blonde woman. A non-rare Arsenal centre-back. A Scottish girl. It was Hertig. Yeah, Hertig I knew. She wasn't a centre-back. Oh, BT. Yeah, see, I did want to keep her. Never mind. Oh, I'm sure I'll pack her again. Wait, have I got rid of Pepe? Wait, did I accidentally get rid of Pepe? Where is he? I think I got rid of Pepe. But he should be in the team the way it should be like telling me that he's in the team. Oh no, he's tradable. Oh, that's calm. I don't care about anyone but Pepe. Like, I need to Evo Pepe ASAP so I can spot him a mile off. Yep. No, I didn't get rid of Pepe. You're lying. Look, if I put it to just not untradeable, just a gold low to high, Pepe will show up. Told you. Because all my Arsenal players are tradable. I know Pepe's not an Arsenal player anymore, but the fact we've got an Arsenal version of him, once we can start evoing him, it's going to be brilliant. Uh, right, I've nearly run out of uh, card. Bit of minge, bit of minge. Nearly run out of cards here. Maybe put him on a transfer list. Do you know what? It's not a bad idea until I accidentally list everything on the transfer list. Oh, that's it. That's all I've got. Oh, you gang. That must be Ken as well.
What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Today, we have got our initial beginnings of the Centurion's Crafting Upgrade. It's a fantastic upgrade, especially for us, because we've got so many commons and so many cards and tradables that we've got nothing to do with, and it gives value to some of the uh, tradables. I believe that's the 10th one, so we should have uh, the first objective done. Um, we haven't opened any of the packs yet, but we are going to open them uh, shortly. And uh, we're also going to have today... Oh, I've done 12. Oh, never mind. It didn't show up that I've done any. Um, and we're also going to have some Rivals gameplay today because I've been playing with this team and a bit of a different team because I did buy an icon and generally just having a great time in Division 2. I got up to Division 2 last night by myself or the night before last by the time you're watching this and uh, was playing some games on stream and just, just trying to upgrade Vaulty, of course. And I'm just loving the team. I'm just genuinely loving the team. And I'm really getting into the game at the moment as well, which is nice. In terms of the transfers, we're at 40,000 coins. Where did my coins go? Well, I bought... I sold, I sold a lot of stuff. I discarded a few specials that I need to buy back as well. Now that I've got some coins, I could buy them back. Because I only discarded them so that I could buy the card that I bought and I'm now trying to sell. Um, I've sold a whole bunch of other stuff there as well. And that's who I've got on the uh, transfer list. It's Ashley Cole. I did buy him. Uh, we paid 293000 for him. He's selling for about 300000 right now. I did thoroughly enjoy him in the eight games that he played. I thought he was good, but he's due a Centurions this weekend. And so I'm curious. I don't want to like lose my shirt on him. I don't mind not selling him and keeping him in the team for a little while until we possibly get a McCabe in form. But I want to kind of get my money back on him. If he drops down to like 250, 230, 220, I'll be really upset and we'll just end up throwing away like 100,000 coins. Um... And then we've got a few other bits and bobs that we need to uh, list up and sell. So with that, we are going to start today with 12 of these Centurions three-player packs. My chat has been telling me that they're, they're OP. But we'll have to wait and see. Can we pack anything good out of this? Any good fodder would be nice. We're starting with an American goalkeeper. And it's going to be... Kingsbury, is she 85? Well, an 84 is not bad to kick things off with. I can't even can't even lie. An 84, Wijnaldum and Paolo Thomas will go back into this. Basically, anything that's 83 or above, um, I'll keep hold of. And that's this is the first uh, 10 win thing. Is that Modric? Go on. Go on. Oh, it is. I mean, already this has been worth it. We've now got an 87, Luka Modric, and an 84 from the first two packs. Morata... Alazon, all of this stuff will just go back into it. Basically, anything that's 82 rated or lower will go back in, and everything else will stay because, hey, baller, isn't it? Um, so we started with a good, good little bit of fodder. I wouldn't mind packing a Centurions. I wouldn't mind even more packing an Icon Centurions. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, we have got ourselves Mbemba, Rico Henry, and Mbabu in there. Remember when Mbabu used to have some, uh, some wild cards in the game? Come on again. Give me specials only, please. American again. Centre mid this time from Kansas City. Don't know if it's a war. I, I don't really know the, um, the American women too much. An 82 rated. I don't think there's many rares that I care about either in general. I actually put Tierney in there. I obviously wouldn't mind getting a tradable Salaba. Now that he's so cheap, I reckon that it, we could see him come out of packs a little bit more commonly. Um, so yeah, tradable, tradable Salaba would be good. Barrett's in it. I don't really care about Florian Vietz. Oh, it's Hoffman. Probably probably the same, isn't it? I don't know what rate inverts is. He might be an 82. Um, all right, eight more of these to go. Come on, one special cardio. Give me one big Centurions, or at least give me a Centurions that I can put into that Centurions upgrade to uh, to upgrade, basically. We get Denny Boanga, my absolute goat, along with uh, a few other... Oh, is Verts 85, is he? Yeah, see, it would have been nice to get a Verts. All right, next pack. Spain. Cam. Leipzig is Danny Olmo. What's he, an 82 this year? An 83 for Danny Olmo. Well, at least we're getting some more fodder to put back into these. Of course, we're going to need to get a lot of players overall. But this is here for 27 days or something, right? So I personally think this is great. Is that Jorginho? I think that's a duplicate. Um, yeah, I personally think this is great because we get so many duplicate pieces of content. That's my tradable for an untradable. Um that we've now got somewhere to put them. I'm not going to rush through them. I'm not going to like do them as quick as I can or spend coins or anything like that. Just every time we get like a stack of them, we'll build up a whole bunch and we'll go from there. We're going to get ourselves a Darwin Nunez, Nico Williams and Drakowski. 
So far, these actually haven't been so great. We started off well with a Modric and with a with an 85. We have not moved very well. Go on, Bayern this time. Nope. Go on, be Verts this time. Don't give me a duplicate straight away. No, it's another Hoffman. He could just go in. But that's what I mean. See how throwing him away? I should just go and put him in there now and save, like, because we want to complete them all and save, save a player. But so be it. We've got Brazil. Center attacker midfielder from West Ham is going to be Paqueta out of this pack. Paqueta. He tradable. Nope. That's two players thrown away. When you need 1,100 players, throwing away players is probably a bad idea. The next one. German. Center mid. Oh, hoping it was going to be Real Madrid. And give me a Tony Kroos, you know. Chiellini, Heiki, and Solari. It's the last one now already. It is the last one. Wow. Yeah, you have actually done me quite dirty here. Oh, dear. It's going to be Christensen. At least he's 83 this year. He is a duplicate, so I will, if he's, if he's untradeable, I will use him as a duplicate. Oh, sorry, in, in the SBC itself. But, yeah, that is that is a little bit stinky to start with. I can't lie. What do you get when you do a 100? Told you chat was waffling. Yeah, they are. They're waffle, waffle jobs, mate. Waffle jobs. Yeah, you get a reward for every every 10 that you do, you get a reward. Might have been awful. Yeah, I, th I think chat's, chat's lying. Why are you lying for? All right, we need to put uh, Christensen in. And then just all of these guys that we just got and go back. We got Rooney from one. GG's. Would you put silvers into three commons for that upgrade? Uh, maybe untradeable silvers. Yeah, I wouldn't put tradable silvers in, though. Fully complete. You need 1,100 players. You do. But, again, you've got to keep in mind that you get 300 players back. So that's only a net loss of 800 players. You also get uh, a 100k pack, which is 24 more players back. Um, you also get all of the rare Electrums, which is another... 36 players back you get an 80 by 10 which is another 10 players you probably get about like 450 players back in total um so it's not it, it for me it's a good trade right i i think is a genuinely good trade and again it, so long as you look at it and don't think that you have to do it instantly and instead do it as you get duplicate untradeable cop cards right it's the best thing for that this is like the dumpster ground for duplicate untradeables bit of minge bit of minge go on back for me as well six walkouts total from 11 where well, I see I have 1100 players in my club doing absolutely nothing I'd rather use them to re-roll potential big cards. Exactly that. That's exactly it. Use this to have the chance to get other stuff. Don't forget the chance to pack something good from your duplicate fodder. Precisely that. Hero pack worth the gamble? The, the real answer is probably no. You got four walkouts from 20. That's not bad. I could probably do one more here. Suit American Grind. Oh, we're so happy, boys, aren't we? Liga de Quito, baby. Suit American Champions. Campeones, campeones. Ole, ole, ole. May need to use some points to finish this off. That's all right, Vipes. There's like player packs, go for them. Yeah, yeah, there's FIFA points on there already, that's right. Brunetsky. I think I just did like four more there, or five more. RWW Malcolm, what? Hell is RWW.
We have four more. Four more in the bank. And then see, off, off of this, we'll be able to do one more. And then I'll be done. Then that'll be it. I, I won't have anything left. I've got nothing left. I literally have nothing left after this. It's just all empty. Can we finally get a Hench? Don't give me Herrera. Not Herrera. Oh, Gold Day. Ugarte even, should I say. Unastall and Kamara. Big win for Trente on the uh, on the weekend, wasn't it? How many A bless us with the goods. Argentine DM from Betty's is bad. It's bad. 83 Rodriguez. Ooh, Kai Havertz. What a pull that is. Let's go. Let's go. That's big plays, that is. Right, come on. Special card. Special card, me EA. Mod Modric. No, it's Kramerich. It is Kramerich. Oh, it's Vasquez as well. And Romero. And then another one. Here we go. No special again. Come on, EA, man. Where, where, where's my luck? Where's my luck? Diego, Carlos, Milazzo, and Rangier. Axed on luck is... Is... I, I, I kind of want to get these moments in just to get this completed, even though I don't need the XP. Kind of just there with it. One more for another Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. This is the RTG account, yeah. Bon Matty is insane, mate. Congratulations. In terms of the other SBCs today, there wasn't really anything, was there? Those players. There's, there's been a lot of player SBCs this year. Um, just got Lacazette from your second upgrade pack. Does this make BPM worth doing now? No. No, this doesn't change BPM at all. Um. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of player SBCs here. Way too expensive. Way too expensive. Good, but way too expensive. Way too expensive. Way too expensive. Probably one of the better ones as well with Kubo, though. Way too expensive. Not bad for Kulusevski. Not bad for Foyth at centre-back anyway. Way too expensive. Way too expensive. Not bad for him, but when you're really going to play him. Aspas is decent. I'm going to complete him. Still got ages on him, fortunately, but... Although, how am I going to complete him? Why would I care? Do I need him? I do, because he's good. Bulka. Just a dead card. Dynamic duos. Hernani. Just dead cards, aren't they? Do some of my lip cards. I already used all my lip cards. Has my season progress bugged? No, no. I just finished the season ages ago. Oh, is there? I just need to restart the game, I think. <laughs> Dude. Quantity over quality, unfortunately. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. Edson Fernandez on 73.4 points. That Challenge Europe rare team's gonna kill me, man. Jetson doing bits as well. Jetson done sick, but everyone else is terrible. Hoping season two has even better rewards. Yeah, I, I can't I can't imagine it will, to be fair. Uh, let's play a rivals game or two whilst we uh wait for a vapor, a vapor, a vapor a crawl. Uh, do you reckon we're actually getting TIFOs for these rewards?
got four workout, walkouts and a load of 84s from 20 packs. These are cracked to me. Yeah, me too. I literally got like 10 icons out of just one pack. Quite mad, to be fair. I couldn't believe it. Could you believe it? I couldn't believe it. What was he ever saying it's a visual bug? But yeah, I think it's just a pose. Because EA said that, like, it was not supposed to be what it is, didn't they? But what wouldn't make sense is that it's the same TIFO for everyone at every level. And that's a little bit like, huh? But why? People, people, people really think that they have to do these things instantly, don't they? Oh, this, this is never going to let me play, is it? There's no way to get common gold. I appreciate that. There is actually no way to get common gold, really. But when you take untradeable rivals rewards on Thursday and you end up throwing away 30 common gold duplicates, there's three packs built for you. EA said there was a bronze showing when it should have been silver for 50 games. Oh, so it is just... Okay, so that was the issue. Right, great. Are you going to do more than one game per draft video? One game per vid, really? What are you talking about, Nutter? How much coins do I think the new next wave of Evos will be? I, I honestly just couldn't say, mate. I couldn't say. Don't forget your Liberty Stories gold cards can go in as well. Yep, I've already done that. Already finished 21. I'm actually loving this upgrade. Yeah, this is a good one. A warm welcome to you and thanks you saw for Bellingham one player of the month? I did, yeah. I did. Player of the month usually get released on Fridays from EA. Good team, isn't it? Al or Aran. Amble from his icon and hero SBCs. BPM is 100% profitable. Yeah, I didn't say it wasn't. I just said it's not worth it. Here's how the home side lines up. Yeah, it looks like they've lined up in a 4-4-2 and they do look balanced in this system. You can defend, that pass from me. stay compact, bring the offense... And then I've rushed out with Maritz. If I concede here, that'd counter. be white. Oh, he's left his man behind. Well done, Ramsdale. More than ready for it. And this is Dejan worth it. I think, I think he's all right, yeah. Nick Pope is the goalkeeper. Hector Bellerin starts with Furlan Mendy in the fullback positions. Frankie de Jong plays alongside Pedri in central midfield. And they're playing with two strikers in attack. Gets passed really nicely. Rodrigo! Well, Good save. I don't know why Ramsdale parries that straight back out to him, but this, this, this RB sprint dribble is just crazy, guys, isn't it? Hey, this guy's 71 press as well. Rashford's pressing me like his life depends on it. Marcus Rashford. Rodrigo. It's 1 0. I'm up against some pro level player, guys, honestly. I just, I, I just can't even get close to this guy's, this guy's ball. As if that's not oh, stop from the keeper. Yeah, Are we getting 7 p.m. content? Probably not. Frankie Dion. Rodrigo. Volti. <laughs> Look, he's even given that ball there so he could do a power shot of Rashford. That's mad. Rodrigo. Aspas. 
Can he finish? It's in. I'm gonna near it. I'm gonna near it. This might have to be a back out job, guys. There's no point like persevering in a game where we're just like out teamed and just clearly outclassed as well. Havertz goes on past the defender. Looking to cut inside. Oh, good defending just when it was looking threatening. Rodrigo. I nearly backed out of this one in the menus as well. Which is a shame. I should have done. That's a foul game. And the referee sees that as a Why is there no communication from EA? About what? Havertz. And the pass the middle is EA. incomplete. Nicely won. Does he keep that ball, man? Could get it over now. Pedri. Has to be. And he's lost it at the moment when the chance was on. Ty Wagner. Suka. They're getting into a good position. Goes for goal! Well, it turned out to be fairly routine for the keeper. He'll happily collect that. Rodrigo. Rashford. Good work to win the ball and stop something happening. I've, I've never seen anything like it. Aspas. Great chance here. Off the upright. Never seen anything like it, guys. Like, this guy's on, like, a billion pressure. And, of course, suffers no issues with stamina from it. Look look how high-pressed his team is. It's impossible to do anything. Move look to be building, but that's it for now. Suka. Suka hey. with an incisive ball. The crowd urging him to shoot. That's really well played, halting the attack. Oh, dearie me. Oh, dearie me. Eddie Nketiah. Kai Wagner. Nketiah. Could be back in it here. Well, half time is approaching soon. And it's not gone well for them. The crowd might make their feelings clear about how this is going when the whistle goes. They have looked really off it today. The back line okay. need to tighten up and switch on if they're going to get themselves back into this. A big team talk's needed at half time. Come on, gay man. Fuck's sakes. I'm literally standing in front of him. Aspas, is there something at the end? It's in. A well-taken goal, and no wonder he's off celebrating. Just on the verge of getting back into this one as well there. Bad. Rodrigo. Aspas. That was offside then, game. You can't give him that. You can't give him that. You can't let him have this ball here. Come on now. They found a way through. Let's go, Kai. Come on. Well, much to the delight of the fans. Keep pressing, keep pressing. If we can get the next goal. Declan Rice. The founder. We have a chance. Rice. Cut back nicely. Oh, he's so lucky. He's so lucky. <laughs> Opponents on steroids. It, it feels like he's on constant pressure rather than 71 press. I'm hoping that it that he is and that it pays dividends in the second half. Because if he's on constant press, then he will lose stamina. What formation is he on? Just using 4 triple 2 or 4 4 2. I was actually going to switch to 4 4 2. I used 4 4 2 in draft today and I really liked it. <clears throat> and 
so the second half kicks off. Still got like almost max stamina on everyone. Aspas. Having a try. And the goalkeeper does what he's there to Awful do. 4-4-2 is good this year. It's usually my like starting formation. Because it's usually like the most consistent. Like, you know, you get a bit of everything. Why have you stopped running there, man? Come on. Aspas. On to Rodrigo. Good strong tackle. It'll be a throw in. Eddie and Ketia. Erdegaard. This is looking good. Now one, one more sidestep. And I'm through there. Much given away as cleverly won. Rice and Ketia on to Odegaard I'm just convinced that this guy's on a hunt like constant pressure to this point 10 out of 10 yeah it was an incredible performance clearly the difference between now here's a chance terrific doesn't make sense doesn't make sense how he can have that much stam and be just literally like sprinting at me with every player has to be it's upright <sighs> and they're not going to benefit from a decent passage of play quick into the tackle and the result is a throw as good work from the founders to win back possession and Ketia. Oh, he would not let me move. Oh, he would not let me turn around there with Salabar. I literally just switched into him to like make the run, but. And that's a shame for them. Nothing doing. Not worth having that ball. Dumbled. The founders struggling to keep the ball. That's for Davo Suka EA, and you goddamn know it as well. Aspas. And over the touchline it goes. It'll be a throw in now. Aspas. Goes for goal! Well, in the end, it didn't give the keeper much trouble at all. Declan Rice. Oh, come on. In the right position to cut out the pass. Beautifully weighted ball. Ass pass. Ramsdale, you can literally just catch that. That's fine. This guy's using 4 4 2. And it's a short corner. Pedri. And he'll take this on. Moved uh, Ramsdale the other side to try and cover the power shot near post, and he's gone to the uh, to the far post. Another goal, another kickoff. The score now 5 1. Aspas. And Ketia. Devil Suke. Havertz. Well, that could have proved tricky, but it's safe now. <coughs> well, 
Well, under some pressure, he's unable to keep it in play. Odegaard, genuine chance. Very touch, Eddie. How can your opponent always have two players around a player? So th this this guy's got like your classic meta team at the moment, where it's like 99 pace everywhere, constant press, and just high depth. And it's just, it's impossible. And because he has like players with good stamina or relentless play style and things like that, and then with the play styles to do the finesse shots and the power shots, just impossible to do anything. Like, like you know, I, I need a team like this to be able to compete with a team like this. It's impossible. Like, this guy's good as well. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to suggest he's not a good player either. Um, but you can't just... You can't, you can't just beat people like this. Like, I mean, it is, like I say, it's just 99 pace. Running line constantly. Passing it inside for the finesse or the Traveller. If it's not there, going for the power shot. And that's that. Oh, that should have been a Traveller goal for me. Saeed Alawira. Probably a foul game, man. And there's the final blast. Not the result these fans were hoping for. Look at the stamina. Yeah, he has full stamina. Like I say, it's, it's, it's like when you're on 71 depth or whatever and you get that constant press without actually draining stamina. It's a bit crazy. Not a lot we can do with a team like ours against a team like that with that play style. There's just not a lot, not a lot to do. Not a lot we can do. So enjoyable though. Well, it's not, is it? Because people relate winning to enjoyment, right? All, all they all they need to do to like alter it and to make people like generally happy is just make it drain stamina quicker. That's it. That's all that needs to happen. That, that will just have a massive impact. If that guy was on like zero stamina by the end of the game, which he should have been, then we would have been fine. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson, and we're getting ready to bring you Foot Rivals action. Stuart, tell us about your pre-match thoughts. Well, Derek, as well, maybe we wouldn't have been fine, actually, because he might have already been, like, uh, you know, he might have already been, like, so far ahead by the time it got to the point where he has, like, no stamina. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Gianluigi Donnarumma that we wouldn't have been able to do anything. This guy's the same. You can see it straight away. He's got busy, busy bees all around me straight away. Llorente starts alongside Frankie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. A genuine chance. And he's kept it out. Fully stretched. Somehow reaching it. Short corner favour. Has eyes for goal. I wanted the Traveller there. He's driven it with his right. Walker. Dembele on the ball. And here we go again, guys. Just line ball. And here's the starting lineup for the founders. Well, two wingers and a pair of strikers in a 4-2-4. It's certainly going to be entertaining. But those four need to get crosses into the box. Work get out to Dembele again and then just run the line again. Make sure they're a constant threat. Nemanja Vidic. Good tackle. Wagner. Founders moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Across, lacking guile and accuracy. And that's where, again, someone with whip pass there would be so much better. Yeah, line ball again. Thank you very much. Lia Velti. 
Declan Rice. William Saliba. Strong foul game, no? Fine ball again. Marcus Rashford. Very much. Now with Shukar. Shukar. Done a ball roll there and it just has not registered at all. Marcos Llorente. Nearly, nearly, guys. Plenty of support here. Able to step past his man. Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. Surely a foul there, game. Martin Erdegaard. And there to Is this AI difficulty true? It's 99.9% .9 a visual glitch. Marcos Llorente. Kai Havertz. Founders getting themselves into a good position. Noel Maritz. Surely a foul game. Sloppy in possession from the founders. No. It's just like slammed into the back of me. How is it no foul? Bulti. Say, man. That's it. Just I'll be down the line, brother. I'll be down the line. Go on now. Hit a skill move on the inside. Oh, he's missed it. appear plentiful timely intervention Davo Shuka and Ketia has it Shuka firing it towards goal oh Davo that has to go in come on man well, Honest shot. question, why don't you ever quit so when well. players are clearly sure. better than you like here? You know. This guy isn't clearly better than me. Wonderfully weighted pass. Oh, so close to opening up the defence. Nketiah. Nketiah. If you quit a game, brother, every time you go 1-0 down, then maybe that's why you always go 1-0 down. If you, if you never learn to improve... How do you think people get better at this game? Do you think people get better at this game by going 1 0 down and being like, oh, well, I'm going to quit? Go 1 0 down again. Oh, well, going to quit again. Go 1 0 down the next game. Oh, well, going to quit again. And then you go on Twitter and go, oh, Nep, I've just lost 73 games in a row. There's clearly scripting handicap and momentum in this game. Oh, what's he gone and done? Oh, brilliant. Oh, brilliant. And the ball's gone. Wagner and Schuka. Martin Erdegaard. Rice. Has a go. Well, close, somehow close. the goalkeeper got to it. Short corner taken. Leah Velti. And intercepted it. Hey. We're using the space really well, you've got to say. Llorente, genuine chance, and saved by the keeper. I lost 73 in a row, my Xbox will be out the window. Yeah, you, you know what I mean though, right? Like, listen, if you just quit every time you go down. Tevez. Then how are you ever going to improve? Sounded 
We've had chances in this game as well. We're only 1 0 down here. And I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Oh, the threat is there. No EA. Oh, what a block, Saliba. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. Marcos Llorente. And he stopped them in their tracks. I thought I could catch him out there with the Erdegaard's pass. Will he shoot? The fans hope so. Textbook defending inside the box. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a no, that's just back to Odegaard again. I'm trying to like put the triangle plays in here. Volti. And the founders moving the ball forward with purpose. Oh, good defending. I'm very surprised he managed to read that. Can't read that though. Let's go. <clears throat> so underway again, following the goal that made things level. Oh, lucky. Promising, but they got nothing out of it. Habits. What can he do with it now? Getting back. Just hung a leg out there and it's just dropped to him. And a throw in it's going to be. Noel Maritz. Rice with it. And the pass definitely. One that out. inwards. You gotta just do that down the line, guys. When people are doing this like cheese against you, you have just gotta do that. Just get ne get alongside them and just slide it out of play. I know, like the idea is that you want to keep the ball, but trust me, you're better off just getting out of play and then defending a throw in where they can't just initiate this like this crazy sideline run. Than you are trying to like tackle the ball out properly. How is he getting this ball back here again? Come on now. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Happy birthday to Sasha Walker celebrating today. And a fine tackle. Stan and Brown. Foul game. He's going to get thrown for that as well, isn't he? So funny watching everyone play the same. I mean, this game is just crazy, like, isn't it? The salesman, thanks for the uh, thanks for becoming a member, brother. Any shot they lift the time restraints on Evos? Probably not. Probably not. And as a play it goes, that's just going to be his throwing, isn't it? Yeah. Both substitutes have been getting ready. Will come on at the same time. Plenty of support here. Oh, big opportunity! And a goal! To so. The slowest stop and turn in the history of FC 24. Because of the way this RB dribbling works, it just manages to focus it through to him. Still trying to make something happen. And reading it absolutely superbly. No, game. That's just out inside there, not out wide. Inside, inside game. Come on. Musa Diaby. Yeah, that's it. You've got Diaby on now instead of Rashford. For a throw in. Need those fresh legs for those byline runs. Kai Havertz. Maritz. This looks promising from the founders. Try to open them up. I've got to score that. I should probably shoot across the keeper. I expected a keeper movement and it just didn't come. And still pressing. Nicely blocked. 
That's it, buddy. Straight down the line. And give it away. Effective challenge. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. And defensive play to and be applauded. Marcos Llorente. Now counter-attacking possibilities. No quick thinking to win it back. Just ten minutes. Had three passes in a row there that I wanted to somebody else. Every time it went to the wrong person, it messed up my mind for the next pass. So I was like panicking because it wasn't going where I was going. I have the player in the wall, please. Thank you, Kate. Now, who can he play it to? It's still there for him. And angling it back. That's it. And a really smart stop. An important one to keep them in with a chance. Well, that probably would have been it. That's such a vital save from the keeper. Rewarded for that brilliant high press. Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain, no one is leaving. Don't have the legs there. Because it's still close. Walker. Marcos Llorente has it. And he did well to cut it out. Well, time is of some concern. Can they level matters? Now able to close down the shot. Suke, that's just got to be a better pass, man. Oh, I can't wait to get Suke out of this team. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Well, we saw what she was trying, but it didn't come off for her. That's a tough loss, guys. That is. That's a tough loss. I don't think I deserve to lose that one. That's tough. We, we created more than enough opportunities to score goals there. And uh, just couldn't quite get it in the box. I mean, had the better of the game, but that's where the team... that This is like team like that wins this game. Carlos Tevez with the first goal. I don't know why he slid there. That's an auto slide. I haven't done that. And then Carlos Tevez again here. The slowest stop and turn in the history of Earth. But nobody closes it down. And it's just an easy ball in there. Honestly, you're not playing bad. It's just the metro is so high right now with the team. Yeah, 100%. Like, it's, listen, we're in Division 2 now. It's going to be tough, right? It's going to be really hard to get into like a run of, uh, run of wins or anything like that. You can't carry XP into the next season, no. Everything resets. Oh, no rose wipes. Are you usually able to complete both showdowns? Yeah. Obviously, only one of them gets an upgrade, right? Anish, thanks for the two, brother. Much appreciated, man. Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, Unreal. especially about the weather. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray. Blanc again, third game in a row. I've got Suke, Odegaard and Rice as well, but Rodrigo and Neymar, Bellingham, Bellingham Hernandez, Llorente. Pace, 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 pace. Might switch to a 4-4-2 after this game, especially if I lose. If I lose this one, we'll definitely go to a 4-4-2. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. At least this guy's not on 71 press. Well, possibilities in the center. High pressing at its best. Sound piece of defending. Literally turned around there. Why has he got stuck with the animation of turning around? Martin Erdegaard. Kai Havertz. 
Oh, this looks useful. Can he finish? And the keeper more than equal to the task. Why don't I use 71 press? Just pulls my players out of position. Belki. Wolti. Superb block. Trying his luck. Oh, Eddie, come on, man. He's actually kept that in as well. Sugar coming away with the ball. He's just gone offside, isn't he? Yep. But in fact, he's taken up an offside position. Oh, that's frustrating. He just took too long to see the pass. Declan Rice. Rodrigo. Now, this could be productive. See, that's the situation, right? But what can I do? What more can I do? I have literally pressed tackle where he is on the ball. Right here, he gets the ball. I press tackle. My foot goes through the ball. Through the ball. And then he scores off of it. Like, there are situations in the game where it's like, why do we play this game? That That's the sort of thing. Which, why do we play this game? When you do it all right, when you get everything right, and it still results in you conceding a goal, why do you play this game? Out ref. All square there. And Ketia has it. And the founder is being afforded too much space. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Probably that's a foul on me there again. And founder is pushing forward with options available. Can they create something? It. Now maybe the really short route to go. Being pressed and pressed high. Marcos Llorente. Llorente. And unable to pick out a teammate. No, I'm not 1-1 one, one with that cut back there. That should be uh that should be 1-1. One, one. Can he play it in? Just blotting out the danger. Nketiah. Davos Shukar. And now with Havertz. And lining it up. Closing down well. Well, they can bring it out now. Oh, nice work to get past his opponents. Neymar ready. And still dangerous. Havertz. Maritz. Now, what can they do from here? Well, didn't go to get away with that game. How does he get away with that? Throw ins given. Kai Havertz. Maritz. And a very good challenge. Shuker. Neymar. It's with Erdogan. Possession one. And the Bando's showing width here. Nketiah. What is that? Game. I've just pressed sprint. I just want to sprint into the space. Oh. Declan Rice. Well, they have it again. Oh. 
So nearly at half time and the home side trailing, albeit not by much. Stuart, your thoughts up to this point? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the one being. Oh, I swear to God, man, this guy's got fucking magnets on his boots. No way, that's fucking bullshit, that is. It's a weighted pass. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Oh, skipping away. Options in the middle. This could square the game. Let's go, come on. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a Tried like four cutbacks in a row and they just all got blocked. So I thought, let me just try and run it past the keeper. Success. Success. Tomori. Hernandez now. Delivered into the area here. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. So the whistle then. <coughs> We're up the halfway stage in this match. You play it because people and streamers play it. Pez was way better for several years and still everyone played FIFA back then. That's just not true. When Pez was better, Pez was played. I played Pez over FIFA for like four years. From like whatever, like Pez 2 to Pez 6, Pez was much better game. And I didn't touch FIFA at all. Honest opinion on, on Evo Eddie. Mm, well, if you want my honest opinion, I don't know if I can give it. I wanted to give my dishonest opinion uh, to trick you into doing an Evo Eddie as well. Um, so, yeah. No, Ed, Eddie's good. Obviously, you know, the three-star, three-star is tough. And it's going to cost you from time to time. But overall, he's good. Take it away. Marcos Llorente. Llorente. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Belki. Okay. So deflection and it will be a throw in. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. I've literally done a skill move there. And instead of doing a skill move there, you've just I don't even know, I can't even explain what you've done. I was giving it back, thank God. It felt bad, so I just gave it back to me. Leah Velti and Shuka. He'll take this off. Whoopa! Yes, you care. That's right, pal. We can both score insane travellers, can't we? Yes, we can. It's with Erdogan. A whip pass on. I look out. The loop on that was nuts. It was. It's my dishonesty. I got you, bro. Wagner. Effective piece of pressing. Wulti. William Saliba. Leah Velti. And here's Saliba. Saliba, Saliba, Saliba. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Rice. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. It's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Jude Bellingham. Declan Rice. Nice. 
strong play here. Rice. Now with Suker. No, see, so weird. Like, this is why I don't like Suker. Sometimes he puts in like those shots, like what he scored, and you're like, holy crap, he's like the best player in all of FIFA, hands down, no question about it. And then sometimes he hits a Traveller like that, and you're like, what on earth have you done there? Nice no, ball. I didn't even have a player there. Volti. William Saliba. Leah Velti. And Havertz. And players waiting in the centre. And quick thinking defensively. Oh, close. Oh, far away. Very clear who got I think it's quite my quit. Hey, that's a tidy finish from Enketi, I can't even lie. I can't even lie. That's top bins as well. With your knee, mate. With your knee, give me your. The last touch, so a corner coming up. So a personnel change then. And a short corner here. Teammates available, and it's played into the centre. Almost. It's a short one. Bosh. Oh, he's missed it. Who was that? Wagner, you dick. Jude Bellingham. Theo Hernandez now. Whoppa, my ball. And a throw coming up after a really fine piece of tackling. Guys were on Kubo. That'll certainly help. More pace. Pace, 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 pace. Pace, 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 pace. Both, 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 both. You be doo be doo pace. Whoop, all right. Ten minutes left for play. Oh, that's a really good run. Go on, Vaulty. Vaulty! It's insane. It's insane. That will settle the issue. That's it. Ready on this, man. Drum and pace. <laughs> Alti, what a goal. What a goal. First goal for the club, that is. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And teammates around him. Almost. I was born Holland as well. Made it look routine, but read it Bit of well. press proven. Power ref. My ball. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Hey, 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 goal scoring opportunity. Hey, so he's off. Hey, didn't even get, didn't even get a card, did he? He quit. Mm, he quit. He didn't want that noise. Ah, oh, Volti. Beautiful. One of ten done in the goals department. Beautiful. B E A U T I F H. Volti or Fabio Vieira, 85. 100% Volti. Oh, did he get a red card, did he? Get from Anse. No, I don't think he did. Doesn't have the red card there. No, he didn't. What goal from Walty, though? 
Leah Volti just burst through the back line. And a beautiful finish as well. He did? Oh, okay. Oh, did it say in the commentary? I, I can't hear. Hey, when, the, when, when that guy went 1-0 up against me, and then did a mad toxic celebration, I wonder if for regret or not. Very, very happy with that performance, though. I also got three goals for the club. It wasn't a first goal for the club. Uh, I think I need to do a couple of squad battles games now, guys. Yeah, need to do two squad battles games so I can get the nine goals, and then that's Walty finished. And then Suker is out of the team, and Gio is on. What I'll do is I'll probably sub her off quite a lot because she's garbage at the moment and just try and get those wins. And then once the wins are done, again, do the assists at the end. Um, but before we go into that, I'm just going to go and say goodnight to my kids and uh, be right. Try swapping rice and water tea. I don't think I want to. Rice has got better shooting. He's probably, he's, he's probably a better defensive midfield, to be fair. Yeah, she's got better passing, better agility, better dribbling in general, better pace. Maybe it would be better to have them around that way.
Right, I've got 86 of them. Now Market Band, I've used everything in the club up to 83. And get last 14 off the packs. Can't do anything else at the moment. Damn, guys. Viper selling. Where is he? I is right here. All right, mate. I have 81 Garnacho of 260 games, 200 goals. I want the new 85 rate of Garnacho, but I have to discard mine. Any suggestions? Yeah, discard yours. <laughs> That's it. You will eventually be able to Evo the 81 Garnacho. So maybe. EA Sports. It's in the game. Just maybe. Hold tight. Just maybe a feeling that week worth of content was late. up infinity how you doing man am i doing either showdown not a chance not a god damned chance same thing did nanny instead and he's my favorite player ever he's really weird he, he's weirdly really good already at 73 i think that a lot, a lot of that comes into like Genuinely, like understanding and appreciating how players play in game, especially with playstyles this year, like it makes a big difference. Learning your players makes a big difference, I think. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. All right. So what we've got is a Centurion's Crafting Upgrade Completionist. I have done by myself. 86 out of the 100 and I've been market banned and transfer banned so I can't buy any more so what we're going to do is open the 86 packs that we have got apparently they're juiced see what we can pack with the cards that we get from those packs build the final 14 and then claim all of these rewards at once and open all of these at the end so buckle up 
and let's see how good these are. Um, as uh, as we spoke about before, I think a lot of people claim that they were like mad OP. Volti, I mean they are mad OP. Volti is the get Volti, put her in box box. Legitimate, absolutely insane player. I kind of only really want special cards. Um, ooh, camera fingers not bad. We got here is not what we want. Um, yeah, kind of. Uh, what I'd like, I'd like to think we'd be able to pack from eighty, well, from a hundred of these ultimately overall. I'd like to think we'd be able to pack like ten, no, fifteen walkouts or special cards. That's what I'm looking for. Fifteen walkouts or special cards just from the eighty threes. Um, gonna be a duplicate Fabinho. When it comes to the uh, other packs that we get, yeah, maybe, just maybe, uh, a few more specials and walkouts. French striker Mbappe. It's less on my... Oh, Henri's in there, though. French striker Henry. Love that. Love that. There are, of course... And this is one of the things that people, I think, don't people don't recognise about why champs rewards are better now. I see a lot of debate. Is that going to be uh, John Stones? A lot of debate over whether or not the new champs reward system is better... Um, because you get player picks or worse because you don't get the red picks. And for me, the red picks were just bad, are just bad, all bad. Because it's just informs. Now that we've got player picks, not only can you get high rated gold cards, which is great for fodder, not only can you still get team of the weeks, Araujo Jimenez, which is great. Not only can you get promo cards now, which is great, but the icon cards in promos are now cards available which has never happened well last year we got it a little bit but remember last year where they had like mids and primes in pack and it's like great but you can't get them in these you can't get them in two player upgrade packs you can't get them in player picks you could only get them from like store packs or like 100ks or 50ks or your traditional like like ultimate team packs but now now we have the ability to get icons as long as they're in the promo team in basically anything now what's also real bad is we have not got anything good so far. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Couple of 85s we've picked up. That is it. We'll do a few skip packs. Maybe it'll bring us some luck. Richarlison and Godfrey. The Everton past and present. Um, yeah, I don't want to be sitting here opening three player packs for like three hours long. We'll skip through a few of them. I've done 10 of them. Pack Neymar and an 83 inform and a Frankfurt woman. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I'm going to be right back, guys.
All right, we carry on, we move. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Some guy just said he used all his commons and did 10, he's finished. Don't just use your commons, use your rares, use your untradables, use your untradables. I'd even use untradables all the way up to, uh, I'd probably even use all the way up to and including 83s, to be fair. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't. Although I did expect us to get a little bit better from these packs. Maybe the skip packs are not it. Maybe the non-skip packs would be it. But I, I mostly want to get to the, like building those last 14. Hey, Gabriel Jesus. I know he's cheap these days, but I wouldn't mind packing him on the older <laughs> Road to Glory either. 83 sell for 1k if they're tradable. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, untradables, right? You use untradables. Um, use untradables all the way up to 83, including 83. You don't use any tradables at all in this. You just sell tradables. You've got 27 days to complete this. Um, you know, 27 days to complete this. So just don't rush it. Just build it as you get the cards, as you get your untradables in from rewards, from upgrade packs, from objective packs. That's what. That's when you, you know, you're going to put those bad boys in and you just complete it over time. And then if, if it gets to the point where you've got like two or three days left and you haven't completed it, then maybe you should look at adding some tradables in or using some coins to finish it off because it's probably worth it at that point. But yeah, I wouldn't be uh, overly stressed to complete it in any particular fast amount of time. Now, we're starting to get some duplicates. That might be time to go and build a few more. I don't know. We'll wait. We'll wait. How many are we going to get here? We need... We're getting... I mean, the most of the dupes we're getting are 83s, which means... Uh, I didn't use, I I didn't use the 83s. Oh, snish. All right. Of course, cut this, uh, this bit of me rebuilding out vibes, please. Nice. I don't actually care to do untradables. Who is it that we just got as the duplicate team? I've never done so far. I, I've nearly finished it. Oceanish, wasn't it? Oceanish. No, two, 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 not throw away. How come there's commons in here, wipes? Did you 
you do the uh, the other card types as well? I Have I even put Oshnish back in yet? Oshnish. Couldn't be. There was. I don't know what to tell you, man. We must have used Oshnish. What about sunrise? What about flame? What about all the things that you said we were to gain? Huh. What about healing fields? Is there a time? Mm. Those notes. All right. Back at it. Back at it. Where's the objective? In milestones. So I've got back, back up to 65 packs. I only need to do seven more to complete it. So what do we need for that? 70 odd players. <laughs> Oppa. Um, there's three. Or 70 odd players, like 10, 20, about, about 35 packs or whatever. And then we'll be able to finish it off. I just want a special EA. We've had nothing out of these so far. Like genuine bread at this point. We haven't had any specials. We haven't had even a single walkout yet. We've had a couple 84s, couple 85s, couple 83s. But otherwise, these have been genuinely terrible. All 80 to 81s. You did 10 and got Neuer and Andre each. Yeah, see, that's just cheese, isn't it? I'm out here getting Hoobers. Is this on the RTG? No. No, I've done about 15 on the RTG and I've run out of cards. So I have to wait until I've no longer run out of cards. And then... Uh, then I'll be able to do some more. Man, maybe the skip packs are not here. The end packs are where, where we're at for it, though. The end packs is going to live the dream. Still no special. I am, I'm, you know what? I've been so unlucky here. I feel like I'm, I'm going to pack, like, an Icon Centurion. That's got to be it, right? That's got to be the one. Botman. Would you ever consider making content other than FIFA and so rare? Like Arsenal and other football content? Yeah, I would. I just don't have the hours in a day to do it, my man. Just don't have the time. Already doing, you know, four to eight hours, sometimes even ten hour streams every day. Drafts, Axe Channel. Road to Glory, main channel, TikToks, like, my, my time is already, like, I don't even have any, I don't have per personal time. <laughs> What's that, you know? Um, I don't even have, uh... yeah, I mean, I haven't shout. oh, there you go! Oh, I skipped it as well, but we got one! He's, yeah, he's well worth it, well worth it, come on! Man, this is actually a class card as well, isn't it? Thank God I didn't finish what I was saying. I was going to say I haven't had a shower in about three weeks. Holy smokes. Man, what a card that is. Finesse shot, power shot, technical, first touch plus, aerial. Great card. Love that, EA. Love that. Arsenal pass and present. This is on my content account, though. It's not on the uh, not on the Arsenal account. Oh, that's it. My pack luck's changing. I can feel it now. I can feel it. That's it. We have got Jude Bellingham wins the Copa Trophy. We have got our first, but not our last, special card. Only three weeks. I know, I know. I accidentally went out of rain. Uh, apparently that counts. Um, yeah, nice, nice. First one. Oh, just now, now that we hit one of those, we need an inform. And we need an icon. And then we're good. Obviously, a Centurion's icon. Wait, what is the Copper Trophy? Is that like the Young Player of the Year trophy? Wait, why have Transfer Market tweeted ex Bavar Bay player wins it instead of tweeting current Real Madrid player wins it? Wonder if we get like a special SBC. Ooh, Openda. That's a nice one, Openda door, son. And a James in there as well. Love that. Yeah, I wonder if EA will give us like a special either evolution for these kind of players or just give us an SBC. 
Give us a Jude Bellingham 92. Lucy Bronze tradable as well. Let's go. Um, there's our okay. Now we've covered off walkout in form and Centurion. We just need the icon. Bean. What do you get for completing them all? A 100k pack, an 80 plus by 10, three 15k packs, three rare election player packs, 283 by three packs, and 184 by two pack. Remembered all of it. La, 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 la. KDB over Centurion's Erdegaard? Yeah, if you like losing. I don't want to be that guy. But it would be good if we had a repeatable objective. It's like 50 games a week with the Evos and it repeats every week. Yeah, I agree. I don't think you're being that guy. I think you're just being a guy that wants the same things. Who wants the correct, nicest things. Oh, Courtois 90. That is good fodder. That is good for. I'll tell you what, guys, man. Like, as I say, I know people are like, oh, I haven't got any fodder to put in these. Like, this is terrible for me. This is brilliant for me, eh? Finally, somewhere to put your trash cards that we've all got loads of that gives you loads back. Nice. It's a good, like, in my personal opinion, this should be there permanently. Or not this specifically, but there should just be something that's there permanently. And it just resets every week, right? You complete the SBC 100 times. Per week, uh, which gives you three gold players like this for just a gold team. Another walkout. We are getting close to my 15 now. Um, yeah, you, you know, you get 100 like repeatable per week. Um, and then every time you complete it weekly, you get the overall rewards as well. And then if you don't finish it during the week, it just resets again and you start from the beginning. And it's like, yeah, if you want the overall rewards, save up, save, 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 and then do. Um, you know, and then do it all at once to get their overall rewards. Or if you just spam packs in this game, you just get more back. Would that not make it too easy to get a good team? Or, brother, it is incredibly easy to get a good team. We don't need, like, if if not, if people not getting a good team is EA's objective, they have failed miserably. You can already get an insane team with little, little trouble. I say I, I wouldn't even say little trouble. I say no trouble at all. Yeah, it's just nice to be able to do SBCs and stuff, and it's the sort of thing that entices FIFA point spending. I know some people think that by EA giving back, people won't need to spend, but if you're like ten packs short, ten like rotations short of completing it for a week, and you've got no cards, and there's twenty five K packs in store, guess what you're going to go and do. You're going to be like, oh, do you know what? I've only got 10 to go. Let me go and open those 10, 25k packs that are in store with FIFA points. If I get anything out of that, great. If I don't, I'll put the stuff in to the upgrade. And then, boom, before you know it, people have spent more money than they would have done. I think, ooh, Joshua Kimmich. Tradable as well. I think EA genuinely missed a trick. That's another nice little thing. I think, people, I think EA genuinely missed a trick by not... Kind of like, you know, what, what they've done is it, it's, it's gone from being way too easy in FIFA. Flash F, you know, FIFA, not even FC24. Way too easy in FIFA to get fodder to now being way too hard. And I think finding that middle ground where it's like, look, if you know life this game, you can get enough fodder to complete everything. But not many people can afford to do that with regards to time. So if you give people access to a reasonable amount of fodder, to the point where they're like, ah, I've completed like two segments of this SPC now. I might as well just finish it off. How am I going to finish it off? Let me go to the store. Boom. You've got them hooked. But if they can't even complete one segment of the SBC, do you think they're going to sit there and be like, yeah, let me open let, let, let me open some packs to, to complete an SBC that I haven't even begun yet? No chance in hell. No chance in hell. That 3,000 feed point pack gives you 100 players. There you go. And that's like, what, nine nine completions. Nine completions of the uh, the SBC from that 3,000 feed point pack. It's actually insane how hard it is to manage your time in this game. Do you know what, Vibes? I'm just enjoying playing the game now. Like We played, uh, what, seven or eight Division 2 games today. I think I've lost two and won six or won five and lost two. Um... 
And it's just different because it's with the Arsenal team, man. Building those wins towards uh, Wolti has been just brilliant. Just a lot of fun. And it, again, it comes down to just the fact of needing Aurelian. Sure, many. Needing um, a repeatable gameplay grind like what we have here. Oh, Gabriel Martinelli. With this repeatable SBC grind. We're watching the ceremony. Uh, I'm not watching the ceremony at the moment, no. Never had so much fun with my Brighton Evo team. When you have actual reasons to play Sourcing. Yeah, just, just to play the game. Just playing the game has been the most fun. I reckon this this is going to end up being the FIFA. The, uh, sorry, the FC... The EAFC game. Or the, the EA Sports game that I've logged the most games on. I've already logged, I think, about 600 games this year. And it's been out for just over a month. That's an average of 150 games per week. That's mad. Surely there can't be that many. Oh, let's go. Another bit of fodder there. 150 games a week. That's mad, isn't it? What's that? That's like 20 games a day on average. You know what? It's probably not far off. With like, you know, 40 games of uh, squad battles per week. With the, all of the uh, games that we play in like the Evo Lounge and the Trailblazer Lounge. All of the rival games we've logged. All of the Champs and Chaps qualifiers that we've logged. This is another inform. Dmitrievsky, let's go. It's, pro it's probably not far off. Yeah. And all the drafts that I play as well because I do a draft every day. Yeah, I probably am playing anywhere from 15 to 20 games a day. Which is mad. Especially given the fact that the one of the only reasons why I played so much is because of uh, evolutions. Evolutions. It's crazy because this is probably my lowest played in 12 years. I can't get into this game. Listen, if you don't like, in my personal opinion, if you haven't fallen in love, fallen in love with evos, I, I would argue that we're already at the state of the game. We're getting seven wins in rivals. Champs qualifiers and 11 wins in champs is all you need to do. And even then, I would argue that probably not even the wins in rivals because you probably want to keep your rivals division low so you get easier games. Oh, eight, oh my days. What pack? An 88 and an 82. And an 85. That's an insane pack. I'm going to have to throw away mead. Um, yeah, I'd probably argue that play, not even playing the rivals is worth it. You're probably at that point where just doing the objectives at a low rivals division... Doing your champs, qualifiers, and champs is all you need to do in this game now if you're not in interested in evolutions. Oh, some of the, 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 these packs have really turned around this uh, this sort of like last half, and we've still got a few to go. We've got four here. I need to build eight more, and then we're going to go and claim all of the rewards. Memphis. French. Striker. Mbappe! Lucky. Surely a higher div is better for rewards. Well, it's, it's all about overall time spent, right? If you're in a lower division, A, it's easier to get your seven wins. Uh, and B, you get easier matchmaking in uh, friendlies. So I'm not so sure that playing up the divisions is the smartest move all the time. Uh, right, let me go and finish off these last few packs. Law. One. Two. I think I only need to do eight here as well. He was a great, but the meta is so boring to play against. It's just press, 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 and cut back. Yeah, it, it really is. It really is. And that again is why. Just playing friendlies, champs, qualifiers, and champs is better because you've got a much better chance in champs, qualifiers, and champs to match against someone who's not in some sweaty division and won't play that way even if they've got a good team because they don't know about it. I'm the grind we put in since the game came out. I don't think I've ever sat at my desk more. I literally get up. At my life at the moment is honestly, I get out of bed, I come downstairs, I make a coffee... I sit at my desk, I start working, 
I stay at my desk. I eat my lunch at my desk. I eat my dinner at my desk. More often than not, I then go to bed and get up and do it again. That is basically my day every day at the moment. And it has got to end sometime. Like, it is like, you know, make hay while the sun shines and all that. But it has got to end sometime. Like, something's going to have to give eventually. Because I can't can't keep this pace. Like, this... I was saying it, like, halfway through this video. The lack of personal time that I have at the moment is genuinely wild. Um, you know, like, any any spare time I do have, I give to my kids. Just like an office job? Nah, but it's different, man. Like, it's not like I get to finish at five or six. I just, I just stay. As a wife with that then. I mean, we've got bills to pay, right? All right. That's the objective completed. We'll open these packs first, then we'll claim all of the other packs. Wait, seven? There should be eight. Shouldn't there? Should be eight, I think. Either way. Oh, somebody just uh, tweeted me that they got Komen in one of these packs. That's the only thing we haven't packed yet, is an icon. We've got a walkout. We've got loads of walkouts. It's got 90 rated cards as well. Got a Centurions, a good one at that, Lacazette. Got an Inform, good one at that, Openda. Got two Informs, including Drakowski. Or whoever it was, Dmitry Evskov. I can't remember who it was. Um, the goalkeeper. But yeah, we've got three more of these to go, and then that is 100 of these open. Your best was Kostic. Ooh, Di Lorenzo, 85. We've, got, we've actually got a lot of good fodder out of this now. We've got a lot of good fodder. How much is Komen on the market? It's a sort of icon that I look at and I think, man, maybe I should just buy that. All right, so no icons out of these packs. Dutch, left wing. <gasps> Mertens. Let us now go and claim all of the packs from the milestone. And because we've now got a claim all group thing, we could do this real easy. Here we go. What do we get? One 100k pack, three rare Electrums, an 84x2, an 80x10, two 83x3s, and three Jumbo Premium Gold Packs. Oh, yeah. That's a haul. That is a haul. That is a nice amount. Now, let's rip it and ship it. Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. Nothing good in that one. I'll just, oh, that could be a walkout. It is a walkout. Latara Martinez. A Shadow Chemstar. It's the most expensive thing we packed so far. 5k extinct, basically. Quite nice. Just give me an icon at EA. Just give me an icon. Make my day. Make my day. No specials out of that on Brazil. Neymar. Thiago Silva. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Next up. Jumbo Premium Gold Pack number three. All right, these overall were good anyway. Because we've got a Shadow. And a walkout. And Lena Hurtig, which is great. Hummels can go in the bin. Then we get some rare Electron player packs, including an 82 plus guaranteed overall minimum. Very nice. England. Left back. Never mind. Yeah, that's tough. That's a pretty poor pack. But overall, you know, 1,100 players submitted. Some good FOD. Dutch. Send it back. Hi again. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's Kakpo, is it? No matter who it is, a duplicate. It was Kakpo. He was a duplicate, but he was tradable. Let's go. Um, all right. Rare Electron Players Pack. Number three. No special out of this one either. Oh, damn. It's going to be like... Who's that? Jekko? Don't even know if he's a... It is Jekko. God damn. He's actually in banging form this season. Um... Then, you know what? I'm going to do the 100k pack first because it's probably the worst. This guarantees a minimum of an 84 plus Sweden. Then, back. Oh, it's the uh, the Arsenal lady. Well, she's she only 85, isn't she? Ilsted or whatever her name is. Yeah, Ilsted. She's also only an 84. So a minimum guaranteed of an 84 plus. We did get some 84s in there. But that was no bueno. So, so bad. So, so bad. 83 by 3. No special win here. England. Trent. Nope. An 83 and two 84s. Unlucky. All right. An 83 by 3 again. No special again. Going to be Martinez duplicate, isn't it? Yep. 
That's unfortunate. I'm going to throw him away. Oh, they're all duplicates. Avard on Georgina are at least tradable dupes. An 84 by 2. No special again. It's going to be Cobell. Could... Oh, it's not. Some Oh, it's only... I was going to say it could be a double walkout, but it's not even a walkout. Oh, that's terrible. And then last but not least, guys, thank you for joining me for today. An 80 by 10. No special. It's Jorginho, isn't it? Oh, it's so stinky. I really thought those packs at the end would have been, would have been like reasonably decent. We get Inform Pavlidis. All right, he saved it. He saved it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace. That is repulsive, mate. That is repulsive, isn't it? I am repulsed. I am repulsed. Where do they get those packs? Uh, the Centurion's Milestone Objective. Huh. Who do I think should win the Ballon d'Or? I think Holland should win the Ballon d'Or, but I know Messi wins it. EA. Open 100k2, the group reward. I already did. Do I reckon there'll be any more XP objectives? Um, Maybe, maybe. I don't know is the honest truth. Possibly, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. Got brave men there. GG's. Surely people can't still need XP. Depends when they started the game, right? If they only started the game like um you know last week or two, they might be in a position where they where they need it. What are we saying? All-star rare plus. I can't believe I'm on for a reward. It might might not stick, but I'm on for it. Under 23 limited, I'm on for a reward. Legends challenge. Need the uh, score up wide. A Solyong Vu. Second division Europe rare plus. I'm 30 points away from a reward right now. Cap 240 super rare. We've got threshold. Happy days. I would have been bound for a card with that love ring as well. And then All-Star Limited. I think I'm going to squeeze into a reward in All-Star Limited. Yeah, projected a tier three. How about that? Brunetta and De Jong doing bits for me. From what was actually a terrible game week, I might end up getting two rares, a threshold and two limiteds. And you just can't be mad about that in a bad game week. Maybe even three rares. Is it worth throwing duplicate fodder in a Kulisevsky? Sure. We were good to continue the morning after for the road tour editing. Yeah. Celebrate. Celebrate. Do I have to have it equipped or do I have to assist three goals while having it equipped? And put the kit on. I remember when I remember I remember when I lost my mind. There was something so crazy about that day. Dia de muertos. Is it worth doing a hundred of those upgrades for the extra packs? I wouldn't waste coins on them or tradable fodder. I would do them as I go with duplicate untradable fodder and untradable cards in general, right? That's what I would do.
Who do you, who do you, who do you, who do you, who do you think you are? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we need to get some goals. Do I think Arsenal will win versus Newcastle? Not necessarily. It's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a tough game. Uh, I could see a draw. I could see a narrow loss. or a nar you know, I reckon it'll be close either way. Newcastle are definitely... Uh, Newcastle are definitely... Um, by Sue Smith. Capable of being Arsenal. But haven't they lost Tonali now? Or has he still got... Like, when, when does his ban start? I don't even know. Not that he's the, the one and only, but... Tonali is banned. It's already started. Hey, that's a foul game. Coming in field now. The defense Newcastle aren't as good as last year. Tonali gone, but home they're better than away. The ball is lost, and the chance yeah, they're not as good as last year, but I mean that was going to be expected in the league, right? Once once Champions League came in. I mean Arsenal got another game first, haven't they? We got what West Ham tomorrow, I think. Oh, they've lost it. The attack is over. Rashford. What camera is this? Uh, Carl, camera 20 height, zero zoom. And the work pays off as they get the ball back. Hey, this is on semi-pro and the AI is playing like they're on goddamn world-class. What is happening? Like, semi-pro, you, you should just be able to just, like, effectively run through them. Wooty, there's two. Isaac injured, yeah, that's that's a big plus. So it's two nil as the ball gets rolling again. I think Arsenal will massively rotate. Yeah, I think Arsenal will line up with like Tommy Asu will start, Kivio will start, Ramsdale will start, Smith Rowe will start, Havertz will probably start, Jorginho will probably start, um, Thomas Partner, no, Thomas Partey might be injured now actually still. Oh, remember what I said about Arsenal's away day in Spain? Thomas Party didn't travel, did he? Interesting. Moving forward under no real pressure. And I'm a West Ham fan. You should steamroll us easy. I don't know. So back underway, what do I think about the Ramsdale Raya thing? I, 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 I think, like, honestly, like, I love Ramsdale. And I don't think he deserved to lose his spot. He didn't do anything wrong to lose it. But I do think that Raya is the better goalkeeper. But I think they both have... They're both prone to just like dumb errors. But I think Raya is just a better shot stopper in general. Arte's injured. Walkwind incident. That's what I said, wasn't it, right? Like... It'll be super interesting. With regards to uh, whether or not he actually gets to the... Uh, I'll get all the goals of her here. I'll just go straight back into rival again. Um, whether or not he gets the... Uh, the trip to Spain. And it's like he came back from injury. And then it was like, oh no, he's, he's injured again. Apparently, we were willing to sell him Jan for 30 mil. I mean, I would love that for so rare purposes because most likely, if he goes anywhere bar Saudi, he's a, he is a good scorer. And they've scored! And all the noise is coming from the away end. Andrei Shevchenko. And he's offside. The flag is up. I think he goes for Juve for less than 30. I wouldn't mind him at Juve. I, th I think he's exactly the sort of player that would like dominate 
in terms of points at Juve. The Volti goals. Who do you, who do you, who do you, who do you, who do you think you are? Oh, they are already on 10 points. Well read to gain possession. Top deal for Locatelli. Do we even need another like party esque midfielder? We've got Rice. And on that whistle, the first We've got Jorginho as backup. I suppose another like destroyer of DM would be good to have us back up. But we've got El Neni for that. Party can't travel for the same reason. Ronaldo can't travel. That's what that's what I'm saying, right? Like for me, like whatever whatever did or didn't go on with Party and his ex partner, it was always going to be interesting to see whether or not he made it on that plane on that trip. And when he came back, when he got injured a couple of months ago, and the media's like, oh, he's, he's out for a couple of months. I'm like, that's uncanny that he's going to be out for the length of time that takes him past the game where he would have had to go to Spain. And then he came back. And he went he went and played at Af uh, the, in the, um, not AFCON, but the was it qualifiers for AFCON or whatever? He went and played in that. I was like, brilliant. He played a full 90 in uh, one of those games as well. I was like, lovely. Then he came back and got like, what, 25, 30 minutes in one of the Arsenal games. I was like, okay, he's back. He's going to be, uh, he's actually going to go to Spain. This is going to be great. And then it's like, oh, he's injured, by the way, again for a few weeks. Oh, is, is he? Is he? That's just crazy. Read the pass well and cuts it out. He's beaten his marker here. And it's on now. Oh, it's still in there. Even if Party didn't do anything and go to Spain, etc., he's got far too injured to before it happened. Yeah, yeah, I agree. The effort shut out. You like Party. And it's a short corner. Who's my favourite ex Arsenal player that's still active? Um. The defensive job done. Probably Lacazette. Habits. Yeah, probably that is it. Flag up here, offside. I think we would have sold him in the summer if we could have replaced him. I think it's the same for Dan, but some would be more pushed to get him out. Aaron Ramsey for you. Isn't he injured again, though? I know he was doing quite well, wasn't he? But I think he's injured again. Yeah, Sanchez is still playing. Sanchez is doing well, to be fair. Yeah, Sanchez back at Inter. Good fit for him, isn't it? There are a lot, lot of old boys at Inter. Good work to recover possession. Surely Giroud. So, so funny, funny thing here, guys. Right? If it was Giroud, when the guy asked the question, I would have said probably Giroud. Making good progress here. But what I did say was they can keep the pressure on with a corner. probably Lacazette. It's, it's absolutely absolutely fine if your favourite are, are Arsenal player or ex-Arsenal player who's now still active is Giroud. That's absolutely fine. I'm not saying that that can't be what you want. But my favourite Arsenal player that is still active but not playing for Arsenal is Lacazette. Bolti. This has to be. Bosch. Clean Pick that one. But she's missed the target. Love the sarcasm. That's what I'm just saying. Like, it's a great opportunity. Am I not allowed? I like what I like and want what I want. Mr. Dennis Apia. Doing well, doing well. I'm not sure if you'd count him, but I'd love Benesser. Was he an like, Arsenal youth player or something? There. I don't think he ever played a single... Maybe played one cup game for us or something, didn't he? Justice for Wrexham. What a tin pot club, man. And 
Bosch. Not a sack off that pace. Bloodborne Henri. Blither. Any world player, just two injury pro man. Even though he was never like fully injured, but I read some uh, some article about how he actually only missed like whether it was playing on the bench as a sub or anything. But he actually only missed like one game in like eighteen months. But half the problem was he was he was never actually fit. He was just on the bench, but he, like and he never came off the bench or got like five minutes or ten minutes. There was a good season, a good couple of seasons for Tierney actually, but ultimately he's just he doesn't fit the way Arteta plays either. I don't think. Who's my favourite player growing up? Thierry Henry. Evolutions challenge completed. Right, that's it. I just need one win with Walti. One win with quality. Current favorite player? Uh, probably Kaio Saka. Have you seen that speed is Ballon d'Or ceremony? That's pretty cool. I think for today, guys. Kind of other, other than playing a few more Rivals games that I'll do later, I might come back for it. I need to get out of this chair and go and walk around or something, man. I need to stretch my legs and that. Um, but one win away from the Walti upgrade. Once we get that Walti upgrade, we'll start working on Geo. That shows a Caro losing his clean sheet. No, it's not. Oh. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for uh, chilling and watching, guys. Enjoy the Ballon d'Or. And uh, I'll see you guys either in a bit or tomorrow.